We laugh. Sabbath today, y'all. As we get about our office business, y'all, we're going to get right to it. We got a few scripts to go over today. So y'all know how we do it. We turn toward Holy Jerusalem from whence our help cometh from. All right, family. <coughs> we're going to get this opening prayer. And it is with the most highest permission. And it's in the name of his only begotten and beloved son, our Lord and Savior and our Redeemer, Yahushua Hamashiach. But we know him as Jesus the Christ family. Yes, sir. Long live the King. Long live the King. Reading in the book of Saul. Read. In the 95th chapter, it reads. Pull it out. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Most High. Yes, sir. Let us make a joyful noise yes, to the rock of our salvation. Yes, sir. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving yes, sir. and make a joyful noise unto him with song. Yes, For the Most High is a great Elohim yes. and a great King above all gods. Yes. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his. And he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Yes. Let us kneel before the Most High, our Maker. Yes. For he is our Elohim, yes. and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Yes. Today, if ye will hear his voice. Yes, sir. Harden not your heart, mm. as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, yeah. proved me, and saw my work. Yes, sir. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, mm. and said, it is a people that do err in their heart, mm. and they have not known my way. Yes. Unto whom? I swear in my wrath yes, sir. that they should not enter into my rest. Hallelujah! Yes, sir. Amen. All praise to the Most High. All praise. And our one and only King and our one and only High Priest after the order of Michael's death. Y'all will get right to it. Y'all just want to send uh, a few shouts out like we always need to. Want to shout out that Ark Dave, the STL Dave we're talking about. Uh, also, y'all, the House of Uriah, Sister Hannah and I, continue prayers. A continue prayers for the House of uh, Dre Money. We call him Andre and his wife, Luciana. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Akda, Yisraela, and Emo, uh Naomi. Yah. Also, to uh, Ark Elder Judah and his wife, Tashiba, y'all. Greatly thank y'all for the prayer. Yes, sir. Also, uh, shouts out to uh, 
uh, uh, Sister Tanya Willis Perez, uh, that Ark don't ask no more. That's right. All right. Uh, Ark Antonio Davis, Sister Barakuya, and our Sister Stacy Young, also Sister Lucy Gray, uh, Evelyn Spratley, and our last but not least, y'all, our favorite Sister Batea. Shalom to all of y'all, and uh, prayers continue going up for our Ark. Uh, Todd Shepard. Yeah. No doubt about it, y'all. So, y'all, we're going to get going. What you got to say? Prayer for the elders, you all. Thank you, sis. Lord, thank we you. need prayer. Yeah, Appreciate it. The word. And also, uh, this guy named Terry that I met at the tire shop. Terry at the tire shop? Yeah. Okay. So Earl, you know Earl got promoted, so he yeah. made it. <laughs> That's made it way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earl, Earl, Earl got promoted. <laughs> but, but okay, uh, yeah. Also, uh, a friend of mine's uh, 40 years. I just buried him. Huh. 40 years, like 40 years, a lot of memories. Yeah. And, uh, so he gave us the ghost uh, a week, of, about a week and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah. Praying yeah. for that family, yeah. like they need. The he was a good brother, solid brother. When you brother. talk about somebody 40 years yeah, we got in, the, in your faith, what you got to say? Also, uh, probably don't remember Paris McPeters. He was one of the first people that came here. His father passed away last week. Mm. But his father went from wanting to give up his life <clears> in the nursing home. And when I went to start going in to get him out of the nursing home and taking him to fellowship, then he started coming back to life. and was doing better until the power of attorney kept taking him from nursing home. She just put him in a nursing facility two weeks ago. And Is he gone? Died. No, no. Yeah. Uh, pray for that, bro. Yeah. Says yeah. that the Most High may have mercy on no his God. son. Yes, no doubt. All right, y'all, we're going to get out of today's lesson. The perils of being lukewarm. How I say that too, bye. Excellent. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Y'all, y'all know how we get get down, y'all. We we study this word given to us by the Most High, presented to us by His Holy Word, His only and begotten Son, Yeshua Hamashiach, locally known known as Jesus the Christ. He's our one and only High Priest. After the order of Melchizedek, He brings forth the law to every male, female, rich and poor free and bond, Jew and Gentile that may hear this word and abide to it. Y'all, so the name of the class again, the perils of being lukewarm. So we want to get that definition. Yeah. First, hold on. You got something about that first two by before yeah, we get rolling? Yeah, uh, Brent Neely says, thank you all for your prayer. Shalom, everyone. Who is that, Brother Neely? Uh, Brent Neely. Oh, Brent, Brent, Brent. I thought you were saying Brent. Well, you sound a country now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I sound like you're yeah. He was saying Brent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yeah, Brent, Brent, doing much better, y'all. Oh, praise God. Much better, y'all. Uh, so y'all, let let's go ahead and get right into it. We get our definition of of pearls. Because being it, lukewarm could cause these type of issues for you. Go ahead, bro. What it say? Pearl. Serious and immediate danger. Uh huh. A setback to the state could present a peril to the regiment. Right. Uh, another one would be. I don't think that would be. Exposure to risk of being injured, destroyed, or lost. See, and that's what will happen when you look warm, because lukewarm is being double-minded. Right. So it's a form of being spiritually bipolar. Mm -hmm. If you want to understand it from that perspective, it's a spiritual Jekyll and Hyde mindset, if you understand what we're saying. So with that, y'all, we're going to get right to the scripture, James 1, verse 8, if you will. That'll get us rolling. Hold on. Did we do a definition of lukewarm? lukewarm. Let's get lukewarm, y'all, so we understand where we're at, and then you'll understand when the scriptures speak of these things. Lukewarm. Moderate, warm, or tippet. Having or showing little ardor, zeal, or enthusiasm. 
indifferent. See, so having little enthusiasm, that's what lukewarm do for you. You're not studying one side enough to answer the other side. So you usually just tail out. Or you become that person that go along to get along. Mm -hmm. hmm. You understand what we're saying? So that's what lukewarm could bring. So you have to get that out of you before judgment day. Because the most high say, no, I'm, I'm gonna spew you out. You need to be cold or hot. So let's get at it, y'all. James 1 verse 8. All right, family. We're going to be reading in the book of James. Chapter 1. Start the reading in verse 8. Yes, sir. And it reads, A double-minded man uh -huh. is unstable in all his ways. What is he? He is unstable. You know, he, he like he, he's got a problem, like he walking in fence posts old. He's mm. shaky. Yeah. So if y'all ever running in the backyard and don't know a hole is there and you step in it, it'll wrench your knee. <laughs> you unstable. You unstable you at that point. You really going to be unstable after that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. What else to say? Verse 9. Yeah. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. Yes, sir. But the rich in that he is made low. Uh-huh. Because as the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. Yes, sir. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass. Uh-huh. And the flower thereof fall, and the grace of the fashion of it perish. You can, so, you can hold wherever you need to. So also shall the rich man fade away in his way. So, and reason it, it was touching on that is because you really get double-minded when you get a little cash. I'm talking about expendable. Right. I'm talking about when you didn't pass where you got more month than month. I'm the monkey money. Now you got left over. You're like, wait a minute, it's payday again? And I still got money? Mm -hmm. I don't know that feeling. Yeah, but look, <laughs> once that starts to get to the point, you, you'll let your guards down and you'll start to relax. Yeah. And you'll start to believe different things because there's only certain people you're going to be hanging out with technically with the rich and the rich don't show the poor no favor a lot of times. No, no. So we're to look out for the poor. That's right. You know, spiritually, that's why he told a man, he said, you've been keeping the commandments since your youth. He said, go and sell all you have and follow me. Wait a but minute. He said he had fat papers. Wait, wait a minute. Fat papers. <laughs> and he went away sorrowful. See, you're able to keep, keep certain commandments with a lot of money. You understand? Your servants can do certain commands for you that don't have you getting out of bed or violating the Sabbath, you know, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to salvation, ain't nothing you can pay a doctor when he say we've done all we can do. Mm. Money ain't gonna help then. Right. Cause you would tell him, I give you half my king's ransom. He say, if you ain't got the keys to eternal life, you through, Blair. That's it. You're going to have to call for your spiritual person to come in here. You're going to get out of here. There's nothing medically we can do at this point, y'all. That's why there's always a chaplain office in a hospital. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's for that reason because they tell you we can only go F4. When anything hits you F5, like an F5 tornado, it's the hand of God is in play right now. He's the only one to turn the death angel around. So, y'all, we want that understood. You don't want to fall into a lukewarm position because you may not want to offend someone's other faith. Well, this book don't care about that. It says, wide is the road to destruction. That's right. Narrow is the way this is going. Y'all, we got to stay on our game. Yes, sir. You don't get that shoulder to, to pull off on on this. You got to be in your lane, looking straight ahead, not being distracted. If y'all understand what I'm saying, because our adversary, the devil, he don't take no breaks, do it? No. Mm -hmm. no. Let's get it, y'all. Uh, yes, sir. I, if I ask my pastor... Can I switch to this other doctor and he ain't gonna give me my trinkets no more? Oh well, 
then you have to truly understand he's not going to give back what you've been giving him anyway. Them, your trinkets anyway, you just gave them to him and want them back. He said, don't you do it. <laughs> don't ask for your trinkets back. Never. Who wants some stuff? We good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done once we hit. Once, once, we, once we get rolling, who want it? I'll take it, Emma. Go ahead. I'll get at it. Thank you, Emma, but we good. So, y'all, let's get at it. Revelation chapter 3. Everybody a second to get there. That's in the back of the book, y'all. Yeah. So y'all, we'll get a good understanding on this today. And then you won't have to guess what it means. All right, family. Going to be reading in the book of Revelation. Chapter 3. I'm going to start the reading in verse 12. Hey, youngsters. Make sure, look, put that cup, slide that up under his seat. Yeah, so somebody kidding. get right up and won't see it. Y'all make sure whatever juice or drink y'all got, youngsters, is up under your seat. That other one, no. Not other in y'all walk path. Let's get it, y'all. The book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 12. Yeah. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my Elohim. Uh huh. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my Elohim. Yes, sir. And the name of the city of my Elohim. Yes, sir. Which is New Jerusalem. Which is what? New Jerusalem. Uh huh. Which cometh down out of heaven from my Elohim. And I will write upon him. My new name. See, and it's notice it said it will a pillar with your name on it. So instead of like we get a tombstone, we almost get a birthstone under this day. This the true birthstone. Not that horoscope madness. Right. Yeah. But this is the true birthstone that you get with your name on it. Because you remember like the Mount of Transfiguration in Matthew 17 chapter. They asked, should we make three pillars? We got Moses and Elijah in there. Messiah, should we make three pillars? He's like, hold on, judgment ain't happened yet. Just listen to the Messiah. So this is what they always knew, and they were supernaturally into another realm. And they're seeing people from the past. So they they saying, is this the time that we make new pillars? We in the kingdom? Can y'all imagine that? Mm. What else would you think if you looked up and saw Jeremiah? I'm not talking about OG. I'm not talking 2024 Jeremiah. I'm talking about back coming out of Babylon, ancient Babylon, Jeremiah. Y'all understand what I'm saying? You be thinking, is this the kingdom of God? Am I back? So that's what he say. He'll give you your true birth storm. Mm -hmm. What else to say, bro? Verse 13. Yeah. He that hath an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. What what saith to, unto the churches? The Spirit saith unto the church. If we ain't in spirit, y'all, we done lost our way. This is way past flesh. The flesh ought to have its marks on it by now. We're in the spirit because that's where we are in this prophecy. Yes. Things are moving through a, through a, a spiritual. Spiritual. We got things happening in the heavens supposed to be coming up here soon on April the 8th. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And we got to be spiritually ready yes, sir. for what may hit this earth. Go ahead, brother. What else to say? Verse 14. Yeah. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen. Uh-huh. The faithful and true witness. Yep. The beginning of the creation of Yahweh. Y'all see what it says? Who's saying this? The beginning of the creation. He was the first creature of all crea uh, things created. The Messiah. The light. The right. Amen. The, the right. Amen. Yeah, That's what we're talking up. about. Yes, sir. So the beginning of the creation, he was first. That's right. Let's get some more. Verse 15. Yeah. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So he's saying, I wish you choose a side. Right. So we know where you stand in your heart. Mm -hmm. But in the middle, we don't know which way to go with you. No. 
If it be wartime, you may be like, oh, I'm cold on that one, right. player. Right, right. He's a fair weather fan. Yeah, fair, fair weather. weather. Flip flopper. Yeah. No, and this is the churches that we had. See, this is before uh, Satan took over three and nine of this chapter. But our Pharisees were the first devils mm -hmm. of three and nine. But we have to be careful because this angel is over this church. Yes, sir. And he's saying, y'all lukewarm with how y'all teaching this thing. You're playing both sides of the fence. Mm. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So I was at a place one day and this church said that the pastor was the angel of the church. I said, I have never read that in there. He's the angel of the church. He said he was the angel of the church. Well, only if he used an angel as a messenger. Maybe his messenger. That's the only was thing. Angel. Yeah, so that would be that would be the only thing because if that's the case, we have to be careful that we don't call anybody or anything angel so to speak you know you're my little angel you know you have to be careful only as it being a messenger on that level because they're looked at as stars angels are mm -hmm. the sons of god are looked at as stars so everything must be in his right context for his understanding mm -hmm. so if he said he was the angel of the church if he meant anything more than just a messenger to pass the word then he's looking to be worshiped John, what I said was maybe his middle name, Angel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 16. Yeah. So then, because thou art lukewarm, uh -huh. and neither cold nor hot, yes, sir. I will spew thee out of my mouth. What are you going to do? Spew thee out of my mouth. And y'all, usually when something don't taste good, you spit it out of your mouth. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? So he don't have the most high, because he don't know how to trust you in the day of battle. So to speak, spiritual battle. You don't know which way this individual gonna go. He might stick me in the back. Boy, look here. When you lukewarm, he rather just say, just run with the devil if that's what you gonna do, or roll with me. But light can't dwell with darkness. Right. It never has, and it never will. Light is always separated from darkness. Mm -hmm. You got some more of that down to the end. Yeah, let's run it to the end. Okay. Verse 17. Yeah. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with good uh -huh. and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. See, that's what he told me. Paper I can't save you. A fool and his money gonna do what? So it's a matter of time. Yeah. When you see somebody with a bunch of money, I'm talking about legal money, and then they do foolish things with it, yeah. and it's gone. Yeah. <coughs> yes, ma'am. Like the girl, like the girl that Jacob showed Wednesday night uh, was sitting uh, in the car. And oh said, boy! Uh, Did y'all see this? Uh, boy, the uh, uh, There's a girl sitting in the car now. You know this TikTok is crazy, y'all. Oh, Film yourself doing everything. I guess she come out to check cash and play, mm -hmm. and she fan in her. Tax return. In the car. Yeah. I'm up yeah. like this, yeah. doing like this, bouncing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm y'all, paper, paper. All of a sudden, you see two hands come in the window of that car. I'm talking about biggest, some first base hits. <laughs> Wrapped around her hands, grabbed all the money, and man what? took off. I'm talking about, pew, <laughs> took off. <laughs> pew, and she had. Damn, I took my money. Mm -hmm. But by the end, man, he was, hey, you, well, he was six blocks away. <laughs> but you sitting there, like I'm saying, like that in this neighborhood, showing off. So now you got to figure out how you going to get all that money back. But that's a, that, Look here. But well, what's crazy is it, it, it ain't the first time I saw... A robbery like that a, a year ago, a, a young brother doing the same thing in his car, yeah. flashing all his money. Yeah. And a little cat came up behind him, stuck the pistol in his car and said, leave yourself, partner. Every time, y'all. He like he, he thought it was a joke to do stuff. To, he said, let it go. Mm, let it all, go. Right, all right, man. Right. See, now he's sitting on, on live camera yeah. talking about, man, I just got jerked. Man. Look here, see, because once money become your God, 
You're right. showing your God off right. like this, and it can be snatched from you just right. like that. You yeah. uncovered and naked. Now you uncovered and naked <laughs> and <laughs> full, <laughs> like she was in that shame. car. Mm -hmm. Probably two months behind on this. Oh, Needed that money behind. for that. Bought a little bit before that. And now you like this. You think somebody gonna want to see that video? Mm -hmm. You explaining about that video? I don't care what you happened. You you said you was gonna have my money today. Right. Yes, sir. And I need that. Let's get it. Verse eighteen. Yeah. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. Uh huh. That thou mayest be rich. That thou mayest be what? Be rich. Uh huh. And white raiment that thou mayest be clothed. And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thine eyes with eyesight that thou mayest see. See, and that's what he's saying, buy bread that satisfies. That's right. Why you keep buying bread that don't satisfy? Mm. Run that real quick, just Isaiah, real quick, uh, Elisha, Isaiah. Isaiah, what is that, 55, one through eight? Uh -huh. Just so y'all understand what he's saying, bread tried to find. Y'all, this is, this has already been tried and true. Ain't never been revived. Ain't never had to change the law in it. People write books and plagiarize, write their own books, but they steal it from here and then talk about this like a dog. But still always in it. <coughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying? That's, that's what you call double-minded. Yeah. You can't stay out of it and you're trying to look at something else. What that say, like uh, Zeb, whoever got it? Isaiah, Isaiah 55, 55, verse 1 and 2. Yeah. Read oh. down to eight. Oh, every one that thirsted, uh -huh. come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money. He that hath what? No money. Uh huh. Come ye, buy, and eat. Yeah, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Where you gonna get that at? But see, that's what the spirit of the most high is like in this truth. It's a gift like that. You don't have to pay for it. Freely you receive. Freely. Freely give this back out. That's right. Go ahead. What else to say, Lash? Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? Uh huh. And your labor for that which satisfies not. It's like keep trying to convince me that frog tastes like chicken, just like chicken. Oh. Get a chicken. Yeah, get a chicken. You understand what I'm saying? Soy, this tastes like meat. I don't want it to taste like meat. I'm all for meat. Y'all uh, understand uh, what I'm saying? If that's the case, why do I need a substitute? I don't need a substitute. The substitute gonna get you the devil. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower chicken wing. Boy, what what kind of chicken wing? <laughs> Cauliflower. They got them shaped just like yeah, that. Got them like nuggets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you call it the chicken. But see, y'all, y'all know where this come from. This still comes from the imitator. You know, or. You're trying to do the things that the Most High does supernaturally, but you can't like manna bread. Manna bread, because it was the only bread given in the wilderness, manna bread tasted like whatever your heart's desire was, but that was bread from the heavens, not from a laboratory. So that's true bread. Ain't you understand? Good. Because that way, Lysha, if you think frog tastes like chicken, you're going to keep eating frog. Mm -hmm. Hell with a chicken, dude. Give me two-piece frog and a biscuit. No doubt. Fried crispy. Yeah, I'm fried sorry. crispy. You're going to need four of them. Boy, look at that. <laughs> eight. Let's get some more of that. You say eight of them. You know about them. Uh, hearken diligently unto me, uh -huh. and eat ye that which is good. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. Yeah. yeah. Incline your ear and come unto me. Uh huh. Here and your soul shall live. What shall your soul do? Live. Uh huh. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. You can hold that, Lysi. So you see, y'all, why do you keep buying bread that don't satisfy? Why do you keep going and get other books and other doctrines and you're going to have to go right back to the Bible? See, you need the Bible. To fool yourself to think this other book is going to help me. But you keep coming back to the Bible. Either you're trying to curse it or you're bigging it up. But the whole thing is, it's that other bread you done bought that ain't satisfying you. That tastes like frog to you, Rip. Really. It just don't That's what it's doing. It's tasting like frog. It's not chicken. Oh, Shalom, Mark. That's the other Judy, y'all. 
it's tasting like frog to you, so you want to come back and get the real. Y'all understand what I'm saying? That bread from heaven, you got to have it because yours missing an ingredient. It don't taste right. Let's get some more finish that on out there, Revelation. Back in the book of Revelation. Yeah. Chapter 3, and we're at verse 19. Yeah. As many as I love, I rebuke and chastise. What the Most High say he do? I rebuke and chastise. Uh-huh. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. That's what he say, be zealous for, that you repent. Mm -hmm. And repent means to turn away from. Repent and forgiveness are two different things. You ask forgiveness, and then you personally repent. You turn away from the evil. Yes, Y'all, our mission is spreading this gospel. Our first objective to ourselves and what we have to bear in our soul is to not be on the felony list. Hit hey, that felony list for me real quick, one of y'all, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. And I want y'all to truly understand this in Ezekiel 18, the whole thing. But 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, if you die believing or lose your shame on any of these felonies, ain't no need you even thinking kingdom in your heart. Now, y'all want y'all to understand what I'm saying. If you die in your transgression that the scriptures speak of. I mean, I don't care what that book say. This me, I'm doing me. I'm living my best life. If you on this felony list and you leave this earth with no shame, then expect the death penalty. What does it say, Zeb? 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Yeah. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of your house. So let's right there. That's clearly what it says. The unrighteous cannot inherit. Ain't no need you looking for it. Your name ain't on it at the wheel. <laughs> when the wheel is red, your name ain't on there. What else it says there? Be not deceived. Be not what? Deceived. Uh huh. Neither fornicate. Okay. Nor idolater. Yep. Nor adulterer. Uh huh. Nor effeminate. Yep. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Right. Nor thieves. Uh huh. Nor covetous. Yep. Nor drunkards. Yep. Nor reveler, reveler, revelers. Revelers. Nor extortioners yeah. shall inherit the kingdom of your house. That's the felony list. If you in your heart believe, I don't care what that Bible say, I'm doing me, then you must be talking about another kingdom and it's awful hot in that one. Mm -hmm. There's also another an abomination in Proverbs 6 where he says, He that dis sows discord among his brethren yes, is sir. an abomination. Yes, sir. Mark Felonies. That's a felony. The yo, only thing that's an abomination is a felony. It's a felony, y'all. And you have to be free of that list if you're going to tell somebody to be off of it. Because if you're not, you yourself can't enter into the kingdom of heaven. And, and I'm going to say this, it's almost like Jehovah Witnesses coming around and they're telling you that, look, you must be of the 144,000. Well, apparently you ain't read none of that. First of all, you being a woman... It says they're all male virgins, the 144,000. So, are you, what are you promoting, first of all? Train because train some train. ain't been mm. right. Mm. Some ain't been explained to you. And then next you say that there's no afterlife. Well, why are you knocking on my door, wasting my time? Right. There's no punishment for me. There's no punishment for you. What if I do wrong? What's going to happen to me? Nothing. You just won't exist no more. What if you do right? What's going to happen to you when you die? Nothing. I just won't exist no more. <laughs> what advantage do I have to do right at that point when there's a no judgment doctrine? Y'all, that's what it means when bread that don't satisfy. It's a doctrine that does not have judgment. So y'all need to, anything y'all hear about any doctrine, just ask, what is the judgment for obedience and disobedience? If they don't name nothing or they say, oh, play is you, you decide where you want to go. If you, you can go to the Lake of Fire, you don't have to, man, it's where you want to go, play. Who would decide that? Oh, boy, look. If you want to go to the Lake of Fire, you can go. <laughs> 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 uh, say I'm spiritual. Well, you hear that a lot. I'm, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Well, still, how do I get on that program? What are the rules? What are the rules if I get on the spiritual program? Y'all understand what I'm saying? And what happens if I break 
one of those rules on the spirit. Ah, it ain't all like that. So you're your own God. Yeah. And you're your own judge is what you basically telling me. Well, some people uh, don't believe the devil exists either, but you can make yourself believe a lie. But you know when things happen to you who it is. Mm -hmm. Because you sure ain't telling what came to you in your sleep. It wasn't Earl or Leroy. You said it was the devil or a demon the way I'm scared, terrified. I done woke up, I didn't kick the covers up to the ceiling thing. Scared to death of who? <laughs> Let's get some more in that revelation. We finished that? No, we got three more. Okay. Yeah. Book of Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20. Yeah. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Uh-huh. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him. And he with me. And see, when we're talking about spiritual level, when we talk about spirit, y'all gonna have to go get that what what uh, uh Hebrew John at? Huh? Where John go? Okay. Yeah, yeah help him get that up, man. That, that's why I'm saying y'all, we're gonna have to get a table for them, y'all. Yeah. So uh uh y'all Through my train of thought of where was that? <laughs> about the spirit, yeah. yeah. He was up with him, y'all. What we're talking about is that door he's gonna knock on is that pineal gland. Y'all understand what I'm saying? That pineal gland, there's a door there. When we say opening the door to your mind, yeah. that's where the Messiah's gonna knock on. I need to get it in there so we deal with you spiritually. Y'all understand what I'm saying spiritually, not over the flesh. You let somebody else knock on that door and you let them in, it's going to be just like our parents told you. I don't care who knock on that door. Mm -hmm. You better not open that door. Right. What if Jesus knock on that door? Well, he don't need a key. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But anybody else knock on that door, you don't let them in. And people will let people in through... Uh, Hallucinogenics. Open that up so they hear a knock and then he say, well, I still don't have a key. Here, make me a key and give you a hallucinogenic. Then that open the door. Shalom, 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 Shalom. So y'all, this is what he's saying. When I knock, he's knocking on your spirituality. He's coming for your conscience, the Messiah, because he cannot have you double-minded. Under no circumstances have you double-minded. And look, when we get in trouble, what's the first thing we always say? I should have followed what? First time. See, y'all, it's always there, and that always come back to your consciousness. Your consciousness. I should have followed my first mind. Yeah. Why? Because I wouldn't be in this trouble now. Listening to my other mind, mm. I'm double minded. Yeah. If I wouldn't, I wouldn't be making that statement. You understand right. what I'm saying? We can self-diagnose our own self. Mm -hmm. Let's get some more of this. Finish this off. Let's roll. Verse 21. Uh-huh. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. See, you have to overcome, y'all. And that means all your trials and tribulations. You just can't give up. This is a long-suffering doctrine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look. All of us in this room, because ain't none of us over 2,000 years old, knew when we got into this that 2,000 years had passed since the Messiah was crucified. So how long had they been waiting life? And then we give up after two years. So like, man, I just don't see nothing new in it. But you knew that 2,000 years had passed by when the Messiah was crucified. You didn't have no problem then. No. But you tired already. That's because you don't look at this as a, as a life course. This is the book of life. This ain't no do good book. This ain't no discipline book in the sense that that's all you do or do. This book tells you what God requires you to be and what he expects. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Do what? Fear God and keep his command. What you got to say? That's why he tells us, as we've been surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses that died in faith, yep. expecting for a greater country that we should run the race that he sets before us. Absolutely. Absolutely. And y'all, but you got to stay on the same track. 
Yeah. You can't go run no other track. You may just be slow running around, but you got to keep going till you finish this race, y'all. Ain't no giving up. Ain't no he know my heart. He know you a quitter. If you quit, right? If do if we no quitters, we don't go get him, do we? No, man. He gonna be tired in the first hour. Of this. No, we can't go get him, man. No, no. He's a quitter. Let's get some up. Continuation of verse twenty-one. Yeah. Even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Yeah. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. What the Spirit say, y'all, not right. the flesh. The flesh of man will drive you crazy. Let's continue on, y'all, 2 Tim chapter 4. And this is why we have to listen to the Spirit or we're going to fall victim to this. Uh, earlier about a chapter Ezekiel 18, 18. yeah okay. yeah that, that goes with what repentance is see y'all like David committed that sin with Bathsheba and Uriah but there's never part two of that never ever ever went that way again he numbered Israel and was punished severely for that also but never ever ever Round two with Dave. See, that's what that's why the Most High say his heart is like my own. He had to turn back from from evil. The Most High ain't never committed sin, but to to destroy all the planet, everyone on the planet, people would look at that as evil. They look at our father as evil when he say, "I got to put a nation down." That's a mean God. Well, how many chances have he been giving you? Over and over and over again. I ain't did nothing. Mm. And that's a mean God. No. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. That might be the problem. That may look, our God says, look, when I finally bring it to you, I'm gonna show it right back to your face so it won't be no excuse. You won't be saying, Is it me, Lord? You gonna know it's you. Yeah. And you're gonna holler okay, like we do. Mm -hmm. When your mama used to get you, didn't say nothing, come here, didn't I tell you? And she strike two licks. She ain't even told you what it was about. And what the first thing you holler? Okay. Okay, okay! You don't even know what I'm whooping you for. Right. But just okay. It's something I done done. Right, right. So some of them say okay for me. Well, get the lick. Yeah, yeah. You just see her coming. You know okay, you, you, okay. Yeah. You know you've been cruising for a cruising. You just been getting away. Ooh, my bad. Just getting away with it. Let's get some more, y'all. Second <coughs> Timothy chapter four. Second Timothy chapter four, verse one. And this is why, y'all, we cannot be double-minded. You cannot trust anything but this scripture. And you got to trust it. You must believe from Genesis to Revelation, it's tamper-proof. You can't find a fault in this because the law drives it. Now, somebody can trick you and say, well, in the Hebrew it means that. Well, the law is the same. Stealing in Chinese is still stealing, ain't it? Yeah. It's the act. Somebody running with something, high-tailing it that don't belong to them. Yeah. If you see somebody break out a storage bin that ain't theirs with a TV on their shoulder, you holler in English, stop, thief. If you've seen the same thing in China, you probably say, Bookie Ba, run. <laughs> what do that mean? Yeah. That one running with that TV. <laughs> Look, oh, you know, well, look, if you don't know, you're like, you must be still. Mm -hmm. Right. But Bookie Bob. Boy, boy, look here. <laughs> Go ahead, it bro. It did say run. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. That uh, thief is running. Go ahead. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Yeah. I charge thee before Yahweh. Therefore. Therefore, before Yahweh. Uh-huh. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom? Mm. Preach the word. Do what? Preach the word. Uh huh. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, <coughs> exhort with all long suffering with, and doctrine. With all what? Long suffering and doctrine. They say be instant in season and out of season. And that means when when it come up about this word, you got to be quick on it. Mm. If you got a sword in your hand, you got to be quick with a sword. You can't be, you ever seen anybody slow with a sword? You got to be quicker than that. You got to be quicker than that. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So 
instant in season. When the subject come up, you have to express it right then. You understand what I'm saying? When it comes down to this word to explain. Yes. Because it's about life and death, ain't it, Elijah? That's right. But you, as a good soldier in a fight, you got to know when you can be quick. Mm -hmm. The devil will try to get you to be quick at the wrong time. That's right. Mm -hmm. Make you speak out of turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. The devil like you to be quick on your job when it say no prostatizing and you in the, you in the, in in a lot in the uh, uh, cafeteria like this. And I'm telling you, everybody in here, even your supervisor, going to the lake of fire, mm -hmm. it's gonna be trouble. Yeah, yeah. And the only reason being because you signed a contract that said no prostatizing mm -hmm. on 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 our hour on your hour, you can do whatever you want, but you ain't supposed to be at your desk and you over here. You didn't sign a contract for that, did you, Lice? No, I lost five of them for that. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, ain't it long month after that, Lice? Mm. See, y'all, so. You quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you learn quick, don't you? That's so, y'all, five, you learn. <laughs> so, well, quick, the quick is the thought, too. Should I go off right now or should I hold my peak? Mm -hmm. so like when the police stop you on Highway 44, there ain't no gas station for 10 miles. And you out there by yourself. Wait till he get up here to the car. I'm going to cuss him out. I'm going to cuss him out. He say, you speed. You a lying. Out on that dark road. Get out the car. And he already angry. Right, get right. out the car. Anything done decently in order. Boy, look here. Anything yeah. passed decently in order. Y'all understand that. Let him give you that ticket. You going about your way. But you got to be quick with that. Because you can't be quick to your own death. Because most high say you didn't die for me, you died for you. Right. I didn't give you instructions to do that. That was blind faith. No, that's blind faith. You agree with your adversary. I'm gonna walk out in traffic. The Lord got me. Gee, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're talking about. You got a place for you. Let's get some more of this, y'all. We're gonna speed it up. Verse three. Yeah. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Uh huh. But after their own lust, after their what? After their own lust, uh -huh. shall they heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears. See, you go get a teacher that's gonna tell you all that bull crap you want to hear. Mm. Y'all down here, it's obedience or disobedience. That's the only program the Most High gave us. He said, "Here's my law. You be obedient to them. If you be disobedient, this is what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna give you a chance to get back right." So you become a perfect man or you keep the law. The law don't mean, when it say keep the law, don't mean you ain't going to break one. It means I know what I do when I break one. So that makes me back perfect. I fix the broken thing. Oh, it's almost like new. You know, back perfect again. Yeah, that transgression is hanging there and it needs to be on your mind so you don't do that one again. Y'all understand what we're saying? Get some more of that. Verse 4. Yeah. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. What they going to turn it from? Turn their ears from the truth. This is the only book on earth that's the truth. This book don't go after no other one. Mm -hmm. It don't say ain't no verse in here and you shall see in the Quran. And you shall see in the Egyptian book of the dead. And you shall see it don't need that. Mm -hmm. The ingredients are here, y'all. They in there. That's right. Boy, this better than ragu. It's in there. It's in there. Get some more, bro. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Yeah. And shall be turned into fable. To what? Into fable. Uh huh. But watch thou all in all things. Endure affliction. What we got to do? Endure affliction. Uh huh. Do the work of an evangelist. Uh huh. Make full proof of thine ministry. See, you got to make full proof that you ain't got on that hospital down God, doctrine. Shalom, my Ben. Y'all understand what I'm saying? When you make full proof of your ministry, you got on that white garment like he talked about that don't have no back out, like a hospital guy. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, need you you, you need some lotion. You need some lotion. Look, you walking with that thing to the bathroom. I can get up. I can go by myself. I don't need no help. And you're like, well, you close that back of that garment up. <laughs> lotion that. You you right. cannot have your <laughs> white garment with a <laughs> hole for a way to somebody to get in there or see in there. Mm -hmm. With strange doctrine, you will. Yeah. With other books, you will. Yeah, it right. always leave a hole in their doctrine. Let them make, make you doubt what you read. What you believe. That's their whole goal. To see how well you have studied your doctrine. Right. 
And I always keep this, y'all, and had this for many years, y'all. See, it took its wear and tear. Too bad if you could uh, tell you, this called heritage. A brother was trying to sell it. Tell me about Egyptology. Rod Stewart, see, it ain't to work. And I mean, and the Bible really means this. But guess what he got on her to sell his book? See what that say? John 8, 32. Ye shall hear the truth, and you and you shall, yeah, and the truth, truth shall make you free. John 8, 32. You got this on your doctrine, talking about the Bible, copied everything from you. But for me, for you to prove it to me, you got a scripture from the Bible. Right. Yeah, Y'all understand this type of foolishness? And they're talking about Egyptology, and there ain't a brother today can read the hieroglyphics. You're talking about a white man's doctrine. That's Egyptology because two white men deciphered the hieroglyphic. John Chaplion and uh, some other white dude. I forget his name. Other but look dude. up John Chaplion and the other white dude. <laughs> that, uh, and that's what he's saying, the other white Yeah, the <laughs> deciphered the hieroglyphic. Any Egyptologist today, tell them to read right what it say. They'll look at you like them. There ain't the emojis I know. Brian hands. Boy, look here. That's what he know. Yeah, get some more. Verse six. Yeah. For I am for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. Uh huh. I have fought a good fight. Yes, sir. I have finished my course. Uh huh. I have kept the faith. Now, we hear this a lot of time at funerals. Mm -hmm. But y'all, this have to be true to the word. Usually, if somebody reading that or say, that's my favorite scripture, put that on obituary. Mm -hmm. But if all that individual, you know them to have walked that walk, mm -hmm. fought that fight, man, soldier to the end, bro. Died giving his life for the word. Y'all understand what I'm saying? That's a good fight. You know, but if you're fighting the struggle to say survive in this wicked world and you chasing the world, that's the wrong fight to be in. You hustling backwards. Right. You're going to be what we call when you keep going back to jail. Institutionalized. If you institutionalize, you keep breaking laws that you know you can't win. Because you go get books of the devil don't uh, make the devil not exist. And I don't care what other book you get outside this Bible. They do not talk about the devil or an adversary. That ought to tip you off right off the top. There's no enemy in them doctrines. Then what's causing all your trouble? You. What? So you're your own enemy. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Let's get some up. Verse the eight. worst enemy. Verse 8. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Uh-huh. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Uh huh. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearance. See, that love his appearance, you can't love his appearance if you think he don't exist. You can't <laughs> love his appearance if you don't think he's the Messiah and you water him down to a brethren like yourself. You don't understand these scripts. Get some more. Is that is that? Uh uh. Okay. Verse 9. Yeah. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. For Demas has spoken has forsaken me. What has Demas done? Has forsaken me. Uh -huh. Having loved this present world and is departed unto Thessalon Thessalonica. Thessalonica. Concerns Cretan. Cretans and Galatia. Titus and Domitian. Dal Dal Read that because just three brothers going to different places. Go ahead. Unto Thess Thessalonica. No. Yeah, start it over from verse 10. For, for Demas has forsaken me. Now, Demas was one of Paul's right-hand man. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about William. You'll read about him in Ephesians 4th chapter. I'm talking about Demas was stumped down, y'all. Paul, he rode with Paul daily. And he was looking for him at this time. Paul was locked up and he just looking. Hey, what, what, what Demas said? You know, he, he's, he's talking about this. Demas going over here. And they told him, man, Demas, then going back to the world. Mm -hmm. You what? They say to this present world. He looked at it and thought, oh, I can get a come up off of that. I'm tired of waiting on the Bible. I can get my come up now. So y'all, y'all have to understand. You could think somebody in this walk, but mentally they ain't already gave up. You just don't know it yet. And you can tell by how their long suffering is going. 
The most high is still their faith and their surety through everything. You know, when you don't hear long suffering no more, when you don't hear the Bible coming to the rescue of their mindset, they're, they're dogged and return to their vomit. Mm. They back to where they started when they was looking for help. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? A yeah. spiritual healing. They done went back that way again. Mm. They right back into that old doctrine thinking it's going to do something for them. Let's get some more. What does it say, Zed? For Demoth has forsaken me, uh -huh. having loved this present world. What did he love? Loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Crescens, and, and, and to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. Yeah. Only Luke is with me. Who with him? Only Luke is with me. Uh -huh. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. Uh -huh. And Tychicus have I sent unto Ephesus the cloak that I left at Taurus and Capra, Carpus. When thou comest, bring with thee uh -huh. the book, but especially the, the parch parchment. So all Paul is saying is, look, bring me my paperwork. You know, bring me my notes, y'all. Paul is getting out of jail, you understand? Yeah. I ain't got no coat. Bring me my coat. Bring me my paperwork off when they lock me up. You know how they take everything. Mm -hmm. Get out of all of that and then they take you on the jail naked, so to speak. So Paul is saying, y'all got my stuff. Bring me my parts, especially my letters, y'all. The script. Make sure y'all bring my script. Right. Go ahead. What else to say? Verse 14. Yeah. Alexander the, carpen, the car coppersmith did much evil. The Lord rewarded him according to his work. Now, there was an individual named Alexander. But see, notice how because Alexander was a common name, he named which Alexander that was? The copper smith. That one. He caused me much evil. He always got in the way trying to throw a monkey wrench in the gospel. He caused me much evil. Every time we come around, he stirred up the people against this doctrine. Alexander the copper smith. <laughs> You understand? Go eat. Of whom be thou aware? For he, for he hath greatly withstood our word. So he tell us to watch out for people. Didn't he say, where? Be where? Mm -hmm. Thou, be thou where? Or be aware. Watch out for Alexander the copper smith. He a charlotte. Come on. He talk like a used car salesman. He talking fast, but he do us no good. He don't mean this Bible no good. Watch out for him. Be aware. Y'all understand? Yes. Let's get some more. Verse 16. In my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray, Yahweh, that it may be that it may not be laid to their charge. So he's just saying a lot of men forsook me. I said, be not laid to their charge, because y'all, this is what we're talking about. You have to prove a friend. You have to know who you're gonna be able to walk with. Some men say, I can't walk that whole walk with you, man. It's rough in there. Mm -hmm. They mean in there. Jeremiah tried to do it. When, when the Most High said, go in there and tell them Israelites what I said. He like, them some rough Negroes up in there. Mm -hmm. Them Negroes' foreheads is hard. They don't believe nothing you said. He said, I'm going to make your forehead harder than theirs. I'm talking about Rufus or Jones hard. I'm going to make your forehead. Now go tell them what I told you to do. You understand how when the Most High say, go do what I tell you, you better get going. Right. Scared of who? Man, or are you scared of the Most High that created man? They just acting tough, like most of them do. They ain't tough keyboard warriors. Mm -hmm. Let's get some more. Verse 17. Yeah. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, uh -huh. and that, the, that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of them out of the mouth of the lion. You see what he's saying? As long as you trust in the Lord, he'll deliver you. This these uh new booty doctrine is the least of your worries. We're talking about real trouble come your way the most high deliver you out. What you say, I know it had to be the Lord, because nothing else right. was able to do that. That's right. When I hit that wall on the highway and I spin three times and I heard them truck horns blowing and that car straightened out. And I was back in my lane, and I looked back. You know who did that for you. Only thing you got to do is change underwear when you get home. That's about it. Yeah. 
But other than that, you know who saved you. Yes, sir. Let's get some more. Verse 18. Yeah. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. What kind of work? Every evil work. Uh-huh. And will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Salute Priscilla. 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 Yeah. That's what they yeah, it's it just it's Pris same thing. Priscilla yeah. and Aquila. Yeah. And the household of on one So yeah, it's the same that Priscilla is. and Aquila in Acts 18 and 19 chapter. They were husband mm -hmm. and wife tag team. You understand? They they were evangelists to the highest level. They basically Unsifia. show Apollos a more better way to say, and it's they show. So contrary to 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 believe yeah, that you hear a woman ain't supposed to speak. This a husband and wife team out there. She just didn't usurp authority over him. She would never say, uh, uh, Aquila, shut up, Aquila. You always run in your mouth. Let Priscilla run the show. No, it was never that. She understood perfectly. No, it wasn't no one asked that Woodrow. She understood perfectly where it's at and how the hierarchy worked because it showed a tight marriage when you won flesh. Right. You understand? It showed strong. It showed you the hierarchy, First Corinthians 11, the father's head of Christ, Christ head of man, man head of woman. You see that with Priscilla and Aquila. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Let's get some more. Eratus, Eratus abode at Corinth, but Trumpheus have I left at Meltoon, sick. Do I do thy diligence to come before winter? Uh huh. Ebulus. Ebulus <laughs> greeteth thee. Yeah, Ebulus. Ebulus greeteth thee. And Pen Pudens uh -huh. and Linus Line. and, and, and Linus yeah. and Chaldea Claudia. Claudia and all the brethren. Uh huh. The Lord Jesus Christ be with thy spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. That's what we're supposed to say to each other, not calling nobody my Lord and my master, my reverend, my master teacher. None of that foolishness. We have one high priest, Christ. Right. Call no man. No other man fit above that. You break that hierarchy in 1 Corinthians 11, you break the word. You understand? Ain't no intercessor between man and the Messiah. There ain't no another man in between that. David said, the Lord said to my Lord, David is king. Who is the Lord he talking about? He's saying to his Lord, sit thou on my right hand. Right. Hmm. And the ancient of days. Let's get some more. Where we have, we're going to uh, Isaiah 5, verse 18 through 24. Y'all ain't nothing we can do to help truth out. You can help yourself out, but truth is an absolute. It don't need our help. Truth was before the earth was. And truth should be after the earth. You don't even have to practice truth, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Because righteousness is what it is. Mm -hmm. It don't need no help. It don't need no support. You see a good deed, you know automatically. You like, boy, that your soul here a fifth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They know how to do it too. They'll put music to it on a. If you're watching a movie and they show a good deed of somebody, you know, a father saving his child, then they bring that crying music on there. Slow, Maisie, been your home. Next thing you know, you need a cup up under your cheeks. You crying at the movie. <laughs> you ain't crying because that it's either some so terrible, mm -hmm. but you will lash out at that. But when you see a good deed, you sitting there crying and start trying to wipe. I ain't crying. Mm -hmm. Yes, you ain't nothing shame about witnessing the love of the most high right. being performed by mankind. It's a beautiful thing. You ain't gotta be shame about that, do you like it? Nah. Let's get some up. Not at all. Book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 18. Yeah. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity. With what? Cords of vanity. See, woe unto them that draw iniquity. You lure them in like this, mm -hmm. like a trap with cords of vanity, prom promising you your best life. With cords of vanity, worthlessness. <clears throat> your best life will be when he say, well done, servant. That's right. 
Let's get some more. Can you hear 18 one more time, sir? Yes, sir. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity. Uh huh. And sin. And what? And sin. Uh huh. As it were with a cart rope. With, as with a cart rope. See, this is what used to happen with the high priest. That's why we got a high priest. We don't have to go behind the holies of holy like Aaron had to do. No disrespect to Aaron. That was just the priesthood for that dispensation right. to whoop the flesh into shape. But now we have a high priest that dwells in the heavens where our, where our warfare is coming from because we're dealing with supernatural things, y'all. So we got the high priest there. But the, the earthly high priest, Aaron, used to have to tie a rope to his leg like a cart rope. You understand? And when he go in there first to sacrifice the sins for himself and then for the people. And when you hit that and you don't hear them bells on the end of that road, like you read in Exodus 28, you don't hear them bells, they start dragging him out by the court rope and pull him out of there. And he dead. For one, he tried to go and, and Lord forgive him. They don't know what they're doing. And he got dirt under all his fingernails. He ain't asked for forgiveness for that first. See, that's what's happening with Israel in the world today. We want to blame everybody but why we came to this nation. Yep. The scripts say we must acknowledge our forefathers' iniquity or we won't change. We have to acknowledge what got us through out of Jerusalem. And it was on that felony list. We was all of the felony list, y'all. I'm talking about running into what other nations looked and say, these are the children of God. <laughs> but see, we, these. we came up with new felonies because the Most High said we all do the heathen in this wickedness. Sure do, boy. So we created new wickedness. That's when we say I'll do the heathen and they wickedness. Let's get some more. Verse 19. Yeah. That say, let him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it. See, that's what everybody that lose patience, they want the most high to hurry up and show them a miracle so they can believe. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna believe if it happened right before you. Like Haran. Yeah. In the furnace of affliction. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come that we may know it. Uh-huh. Woe unto them that call evil good. That call evil what? Good. Uh huh. And good evil. Uh huh. That put darkness for light. Uh huh. And light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet. And sweet for bitter. And what it's talking about, anybody bring to you any doctrine that say don't trust the Bible, they're saying, we got, uh, your good is evil. We got the real good over here, but uh, uh, the Bible is evil. And basically when they tell you don't keep the commandments, go to another book, they're saying this good book, the gospel, what the gospel mean? Good news, don't it? It's saying, no, it's putting out bad news. When you hear that, you got to look at them like Alexander the coppersmith. They ready to do you much evil. I don't care who you are. When that heat come, we know the first thing, holler out your mouth. It ain't going to be for that death. Nah. You know how the devil saved me, do you? Y'all ever heard anybody holler that out? I heard that. <laughs> Most wicked man on earth, Anton LaVey was crying on his deathbed. Please forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry. I wrote the book of shadows and I did all that wickedness and drank blood and chill. I'm sorry. At the end, it's over. It says that law is that truth. That's right. And it's a light to you. You can see your way following the law of the Bible. But darkness, you can't see nothing but dark. That's why it's always whispering. That's why it's always said in the dark. You ever notice these cults and different things? Ain't, oh, ain't never no lights on. Why ain't there lights on in the Catholic Church? Why is it always dark it's up in there? It's always dim. dim. It's all because that's where Satan dwells. That's where wickedness dwells. You see all the idols from head from from the beginning to the end of the, and then when you come in the Catholic Church, you have to bow to those images. Boy, before I you worse. can sit down. Yeah, that's the whole that's the whole procession of, of Catholic churches. When you enter into that 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 steeple yes. or that uh, house, you bow before you sit down. Yeah, and you bow before all those statues. Yeah, all those graven images. 
Like them statues gonna do like this. Hey, that's him again. He, man, he when cooked. I was little, he I used to run, man. Well, they used to yeah. scare the hell out of me. Yeah, it was your spirit telling you it was the death. Go in. Verse 21. Yeah. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. Uh huh. And prudent, prudent in their own sight. See, wise in their own eyes. See, they call themselves doctors. Mm. Doctors have PhDs. Mm. You understand? Mm. See? <laughs> what about if, your PhD? Boy, look here, public high school diploma. Uh -huh. <laughs> and when you hear somebody saying that they're a doctor and they ain't got an eighth grade grad, uh, education, uh -oh. no. Uh -oh. They just left out a word before doctor. It's called witch. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get some more. They tell you not to drink water. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> What we're saying is this thing is spiritual, y'all. We're talking about they don't want you to drink this living water. This water. Right. This is what they're trying to get you off of. <laughs> See, because without this, you can't live again. That's right. This water you have to drink. That's what he told the woman at the well. This water, you're going to thirst again. We ain't talking about flesh water. We're talking about spiritual water that you can live again, that you never get thirsty with That's this. Right. The living spring. That's right. Let's get some more. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, uh -huh. and men of strength to mingle strong drink. Yeah. Which justly was justified the wicked for reward, uh -huh. and take away the righteousness of the re of the relig righteous, let me read that yeah. again. Which justify the wicked okay. for reward, yeah. and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. See, and that's what it say. Mingle strong drink. Look, wherever this wickedness is gonna be, it's gonna be wine flowing. It's gonna be bottles popping. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be all of the whole thing behind that. We're gonna bring what's inside this club mm -hmm. out of the darkness to main strength. You're going to make it rain publicly. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're teaching the kindergartens now as, as their hero is making the staff. Mm -hmm. Sexy red. Sexy red. Uh, dusty red, whatever the hell the name is. <laughs> Look nasty Dirty X. Red. Dirty <laughs> muddy Y'all understand what we're talking about? <laughs> that is come out of that club into the mainstream of life. I was going to say it's dirty red. Mess. Right. Stinky red. Go ahead. Yo, it's what the devil pay you handsomely for to sing sin. Sing sin. sin. Don't sing truth. Now, ain't nobody buying truth. Yeah, because if now. you notice, especially in hip-hop uh, culture and uh, rap culture, they didn't start putting out the big paydays until they did away with conscious rap. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. The paydays didn't come until the conscious to gangster rap came on the scene. Yes, sir. So they put they they have you put commerce over conscious. Yeah. Cause now, uh, yeah, we ain't talking about righteous no more. Because uh -huh. long as there were all these groups out there were teaching about history, black history, culture, going against the government. And, and the powers that be yeah. uniting yeah. as a community and things yeah. of that nature. Yeah, poor right. They were yeah, you, know, yeah. I mean, you had ex yeah. you had so many. Yeah. yeah. Public enemy. Yeah. I mean the whole culture was saturated with conscious rap. Yeah. yeah. That's what that was everybody cool. was coming out with, with a message or a message about just having fun as a people. But then they said no, because now these brothers are or and these sisters, they have put up the gold chains. They weren't yeah. Black medallions, yes. they all conscious. Yes, sir. They greeting each other as yes, sir. brother and sister and king and queen. They're like, no, we got to do away with this. Yes. Because eventually they're going to create another black Wall Street. There's going to be multiple black Wall Streets popping up in every community and yes. we can't have that. That means they're no longer dependent upon us. Right. We got to make them dependent. They think wise. Them back. Yeah, they're thinking wise and they're getting back to their God. See, they can't we have gotta that. stop that. We gotta separate them from their God, keep them separate from their God, because as long as they're separate from their God, they will never excel. Right. And you know what they gotta they do? Control them. They gotta break the head of that group. Like most deaf was the most deaf rapper, conscious rapper. Now he most deaf in the women's section. Most definitely. Or the store. Most definitely he in the women's section. <laughs> he wearing skirts and boots now. 
the body. Yeah, so sweet. But, but this is what I'm talking about, y'all. You endure yeah, yeah. for a while, and then you <laughs> fall off of truth. Yes, because sir. truth is what truth's going to be. It's the same yesterday, today, and what else? Tomorrow. Forever, tomorrow. tomorrow. Truth ain't going to change. It is what it is from Genesis to Revelation. Yes. Just because technology is out here and Tesla's out here, a car drive itself, it has nothing to do with truth. Not nothing. Absolutely nothing to do with truth because truth told us this was coming. It told us y'all ain't seen nothing yet that the adversary have planned to trick you to make you think or to turn your back on the most high. It's a reason every UFO picture they show you is blurry. blurry right. Everything else around it is crystal clear. We get we got HD, 4D, 9D, don't we? 4K. <laughs> But 4K and every time you see Bigfoot or a UFO, why it's yeah. always blue? Come on now, y'all got better. Look, y'all can look out there with the Hubble telescope and tell us what the galaxies look like. And you can't get Bigfoot clear. <laughs> no, a UFO because they don't want it clear just yet. Right. They'll clear it at the right time to make you think it's an alien invasion. They can't let you see it and study it just yet. Hmm. Not yet. We just want to have you thinking it exists out there somewhere, that there's what we call alien. And see, that's a control of the mind too. Anything foreign to this, to this is alien. Right. Angels are technically alien because they're foreign to this, to this earthly realm, so to speak. But it ain't no beast out there, nothing that was created through the Big Bang that's driving a spaceship that you don't have the technology that you say I can overcome. They call it a, a, a Mex a undocumented Mexican an illegal alien. Alien, don't they, bro? Right. Yes. No, Who come across them boys? He just ran across the lake. lake. Yeah, yeah, he just ran across the lake, and he's called an illegal alien. Yes, sir. So y'all don't fall for the okie doke, y'all. Whatever you see coming when them heavens crack open, that's gonna be the Messiah and the saints with, mm -hmm. and the angels to reign <coughs> justice and righteousness to clean this earth up, y'all, cause it's filth. Look at your car after rain and just see what's on the hood of it. Let's get some more. Verse 24. Yeah. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the, devoureth the stubble, uh -huh. and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their roots shall be as rottenness. See, and it says their roots, that's at the beginning of it. You can't cut a tree down the stump. You got to get that root out of there, don't you, if you want it gone. That's right. Go ahead. And their blossoms shall go up as dust. Because they have cast away the law of the of the Lord of hosts uh -huh. and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. See, it's always going to be about put the law away. I don't want to be obedient. Just show me how I can be as disobedient as I can. And you're going to pay me, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And guess what? There's bonuses if you pull your clothes off uh -oh. and go lay on that couch. Uh -oh. and you get the record deal and you get something else, a surprise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get a surprise, all right. You're gonna get a surprise, all right. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna get the bonus. Oh, what you say? Right. They're gonna get the bonus? Yeah, they're gonna get the bonus. <laughs> okay, yes sir. Go ahead, bro. I'll keep going. Yeah, you finish that, you get down to 30. Oh, I thought you said 24. 24, okay. We can 25. Read you okay? Read it yeah, read it out. 25. Therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people. Uh huh. And he has stretched forth his hand against them. Uh huh. And has smitten them. Right. And the hills did tremble. Uh huh. And their carcass were torn in the midst of the street. Uh huh. For all this his anger is not turned away. But his hand is stretched out still. See, when somebody say the law is done away with and they teach so, mm -hmm. the script say, ain't no need them coming to the party. Right. You can't get in if you teach man not to study the law. Guess who don't teach man uh, not to obey the law? The devil. That's right. The devil is an adversary. He's a prosecutor. He needs the law so he can point to you and say, look what he doing. Me and a third of the angels did the same thing. So what you gonna do, God? Mm -hmm. You affirm just God. What you gonna do? When men tell you not to believe the Bible and the law, they're worse than the devil. Cause the devil don't do it. Right. The That's devil true. don't make you do That's nothing. True. The devil show you what you lust for, and then he entice you with more than you ever done seen. Mm -hmm. 
And if you're not working for the Lord, who you working for? Who you working for? See, and this is what we're talking about. The devil don't do what people say when they say this Bible is, is tampered with. But you know what they, they don't never go to when they make them statements? Exodus 20. I don't care what version you use. There's three versions before the King James. Will Cliff, uh, 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 Tinsdale, mm -hmm. and another one, the Ethiopia, uh, uh, what was that called? Kiba Negrop, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of them. And I don't care what version you get, turn to Exodus 20. If that law changed, that Bible ain't no good. It don't words change, but they don't words don't change the law. There's no word you can make Exodus 20 or the law in Exodus 20 mean something else. So I want to talk about life real quick. Yeah, hit that Revelation 9 and 9. Just want to read that real quick so you, we understand <coughs> words or language don't change truth right. and law. The law is what it is in every language. Is marriage different in another country? Do they look at it? They may say it a different name, right. but do it mean the same thing? Same thing. Pharaoh knew that when he was at Sarah. Right. He like, wait a minute, this ain't your sister. This got to be your wife. That devil keep bending my hand back every time I try to say, hey, babe. Uh -oh. He just cut off all my hay boy. Hey, boo, no, all that's gone. He says, something going on here. This ain't your sister. It can't be. And that's what the dark forces know. Look, the devil and demons tremble. Why won't a man tremble and tell you the law is done away with? The devil got him doing it, if you understand what I'm saying, so that he could join his party. Mm -hmm. See, because he's automatically out at judgment day. Mm -hmm. And the devil say, good, I'm going to keep, I like when you do that. You be company with me. Right. And then guess what the devil going to do? You can't double cross the double crosser. He going to tell the most high on you. You think you serving the devil. He going to be like, look at this scoundrel right here. He wants out now. Nope. I know all his secrets. I know how he was worshiping me. Throwing frog legs and Miss Rudolph and Taro cards on the table. Right. He ain't tell you about that, did he, Lord? Well, I'm going to tell you because I double cross. I'm the devil. Yep. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You ain't making God, man. He ain't going to be mocked. Mm -hmm. No, the devil mocking you. Yeah, yeah you be captain of 50, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> you said Revelation 99. Now, what does it say, Elisha? <clears throat> this is just quick so y'all understand. Language don't supersede law. Yeah, yeah. That's what you and they had breastplates. Is that is that the what yeah yeah is that talking about is that in a battle Yeah yeah verse eleven down. yeah yeah just down. read what it say is it that's what the bottle is fixed okay you yeah. I just want what say the bottle is fixed okay. yes and the king verse eleven and they had a king over them They're talking about those in the bottomless pit go ahead which is the angel. Of the bottomless pit, uh -huh. whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, uh -huh. but in the Greek tongue his name is Apollyon. Uh -huh. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more at the hereafter. So the scripture is telling you that when the when the pit is open, Satan and his demons gonna be let out, or the demons gonna be let out, all them evil spirits on the earth, and it's the beast down there is one that control all of them. You read a lot, his name be, may be Asmodeus, mm -hmm. but he's a chief beast. Beelzebub mm -hmm. will be let out and his demons with him. Y'all understand? Now, this nation in the Greek tongue, they call him what? Apollyon. Apollyon. Uh -huh. And in the Hebrew tongue, they call him Abaddon, right? right? But who is he and what is he and where he coming from? It's the same situation, ain't it? Yeah. Apollyon don't change Abaddon to be a different individual. It's what we call the individual in the bottomless pit. And he's coming to break the law of God and turn y'all against God. That's going to be the same in any language. Mm -hmm. They just call him by a different name. Y'all understand? Mm -hmm. Let's get some more. Where we at? Back in Isaiah chapter 5 verse 26. Okay. Isaiah 5 and 26, y'all. We're going to speed it up a bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, uh, we're gonna be instant. <laughs> okay. Verse twenty-six. Yeah. 
And he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far. Uh huh. And will hiss unto them from the end of the earth. And behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. Uh huh. None shall be weary nor stumble among them. None shall slumber nor sleep. Uh huh. Neither shall the girdle of their loins be loosed, nor the latchet of their shoes be broken, whose arrows are sharp and all their bows bent. Their horses, hoofs, shall be counted like flint, and their wheels like a whirlwind. Their roaring shall be like a light. Uh -huh. They shall roar like, like young lions. Yeah, they shall roar and lay hold of the prey, and shall carry it away safe, and none shall deliver it. Uh -huh. And in that day, in that what? In that day, uh -huh. they shall roar against them like a roaring of a, of the sea. Uh -huh. And if one look unto the land, behold darkness and sorrow, and the light is darkened in the heavens thereof. So it's coming for him. It says the same thing in Joel 2, because the sun going to be dark, and the moon ain't going to give a light, and then you're going to see the true believers at that point. See, we don't get our minds straight until the Most High speaks. Right. He either does it through thunder and a storm, an earthquake or a tornado gets our attention. Mm -hmm. exactly yeah, and they tell you, bow down, don't they? When the storm mm -hmm. happens. Ain't that what they taught us in school? Mm -hmm. You better bow down, God coming through. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing we can do to stop him. Ain't no nuclear bomb to stop this F5 coming through here, six miles wide and moving at 600 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do with that? Run. You know what you gonna run too. <laughs> No, there ain't no woman eating butter sandwiches out in the woods. No such thing as Mother Nature. She running too? Yeah, yeah, she high tail. Matthew 7, 21. Matthew 7, 21. And y'all, we're going to show some more of double-mindedness and the pearls of being lukewarm. Notice this, y'all. This is how you know they lukewarm. They can't stay out the body. They have contests, this book against the Bible, but they never go to another book against them wayward books. You'll never see the Quran going against Egyptologists. You, you never see Buddhism going against uh, 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 Christian worshipers. All of them different sects come at the Bible. They either gonna try to use it to uplift themselves and at the same time gonna try to curse it because they don't want you to think they use it because they still selling you bread that don't satisfy. You understand what we're saying? You can't sell me everlasting life and you talking about it with this flesh that's getting wrinkled by the day. You understand what I'm saying? Knees pop when you get up. Sound like a drive-by shoe and you trying to sell me everlasting flesh. <laughs> oh, that's a popping boy. <laughs> boy, look at my <laughs> up to my rapid a pow pow pow. You just say rapid oh, fire, no, no. rapid you, fire. You got, over, over, you got me over the room with my knees. Let your baby start running. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but well, I'm telling you that look. I ain't gonna joke because I'm gonna feel it later. Yes, sir. <laughs> See, the most high say, look, Zab saying, look, and look at what they tell you to put on that. Icy hot, you can't put lukewarm hot on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's one or the other. Lukewarm hot. It's got to be extreme. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's get it. Where we at? Matthew 7, 7 21. 21. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh-huh. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. See, that's the only way. Most I don't care what you're saying about Lord. You can name yourself Lord. But if you ain't doing the will of the Father, you can miss him with that. See, that's why they all them doctrines don't have judgment day in. There's no punishment for right or wrong. So yet, what happens is man become your God. Because you obey these laws here of man more than you do God's law. Mm -hmm. So man is your God. Miss us with that. How you a God and you still obeying the laws of the land? You can talk all that, name yourself this God and that big chief monkey the muck, but guess what? If a judge says you ain't on court Thursday, 
is your warrant. Yeah, we got somebody to go come and get you and bring you to court. So you more scared of the law of this land than you are the most high. Right. Yeah. No. They God when it come down to you Negroes talking about mm. I'm God. Right. Because they just locked up a Negro for life saying he was God. Yeah. With that stank doctrine. Should have took that five years. Yeah. Right. That nature boy. <laughs> That stank doctrine. I'm talking about a doctrine that have you stinking because it say don't cleanse your, don't wash your rear end. They landed a plane. He had 20 members on the plane and they stopped a plane to land in it. I'm talking about the pilot was like, hey, and he was like, hey, I'm going to come over in that Dollar General lot. Get off of here. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you, the truth, y'all can look it up right now. It'll tell you, they left. I'm talking about the whole plane was, everybody on the plane was complaining. Oh, oh my God. They stinking like this, but this a new doctrine. Straight, Don't believe the Bible. Well, our, our doctrine is about all washing, ain't it? Yeah. 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 Leviticus 13 through 15 tells you about washing and cleansing yourself when you have diseases. And Preach washing your clothes. clothes. Yeah, wash your clothes. I am earthy. And you actually <laughs> believe this individual. <laughs> I'm all natural. <sighs> <laughs> y'all, we want to believe a lot, y'all. Some of us is just dying to no, be somebody's fool. Y'all understand that? Dying to be somebody's fool. Smell them coming. Yeah, you hold the dog out by the pilot. But, but look here, yeah. I'm telling the pilot, we said he had to land it quick, man. They couldn't take it no more. He probably couldn't see you, bro. Look, and they was in Hawaii. They put him out of a hotel in Hawaii. The guest was complaining. <laughs> the guest was like, wait a minute. What kind of air freshener y'all use? Good. These? Is these? Is these? Is these? What kind of scented candles is this? <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I'm telling you, y'all, if y'all Google this right now, Y'all will see what I'm saying. Uh, and there's actually people chasing. Look, had a group of them here in Florida. The mother was on the news looking for her two children that had run off with her. The neighbors say, we knew something was crazy. They would only come out in the rain, and they would be hugging the tree, and they'd be sitting out there in the rain butt naked. And this, what you want us to say, makes you a God because you in tune with nature. <laughs> that tree was like, get off me. Yeah, that tree like, get off me. You know. I heard it's only seven of them in the earth that know how to talk. But, but look here. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about no toilet paper, y'all. Just kick like a dog when they get through. You know how a dog be doing like that, kicking his leg like that, stuff flying. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, don't. If y'all think we ain't making fun or light of this, but if you chase a doctrine like that, then you know better. You know better. You know you didn't understand what washing does and what cleanliness is. You know what that is. I'm telling you right now, you know what it is. Look, if you don't have this practice, do this right here, rub behind your ear real hard right there, and smell your stain. That lets you know what comes out of your body, and you have to wash yourself. Ain't nothing more grotesque than ear stain. Boy, look here. You mess around and get it to rolling up on you. Boy, look here. Yo, this, no, I'm just talking about it. But these are the itchy ear doctrines that people are chasing after. Y'all understand? But it's mocking at God. Everything God says, they say do the opposite. That's called E calling evil good. Evil is good. Let's get some more lunch. Look like ain't nobody doing it now, but when they get in the car, they're going to be like this. Yeah, you, you ain't going to see nobody doing it now. But yeah. Say, look out here on the road. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I put deodorant on my mouth. Bro, you know what you say? Yes, sir. I know what you're saying, bro. Oh, man. 
Let's get it, y'all. Hey, man, y'all stop. 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 <laughs> Where you at, Lysa? Oh, I don't know. He don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, did y'all get to 20? Y'all, Matthew 7, 21. Oh, boy. All right, 22. Yeah. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Uh-huh. And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. What are you going to say? I never knew you. Uh-huh. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, uh-huh, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which which built his house upon a rock. Right. And the rain descended, uh -huh. and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not. Right. For it was founded upon a rock. Yeah, when you right. preaching this gospel, can't no weapon form come against this. That's right. First against the gospel, and then those who teach. That's right. That's why it ain't going nowhere. It's the only book on the planet that ain't never been revived. Every man that write his own book trying to tell you about the Bible, he got to have a volume two and three to correct his mistakes. Mm -hmm. How you going to write about the future and you ain't been given the vision? You just going to make it up where it comes from. You understand what I'm saying? Let's get some more. Verse 26. Yeah. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not. Uh-huh. Shall be likened unto a foolish man. What kind of man? A foolish man. Uh huh. Which built his house upon a, on the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it failed. What did it do? It failed. Uh huh. And great was the fall of it. You can chase that sand doctrine if you want, or you can get on that rock of the Messiah and save your life, because that's the good news. Selling you a doctrine that's your death. And you pay for it? All right, man. Let's get some more. That's it. That's it? You that's it, Lice? You had 29? You out? Yeah, you had 29? No, I'm at 28. 28. Okay. And it came to pass when Yahweh Shah had en ended these things, the people were astonished at his doctrine. Uh huh. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribe. Uh huh. So y'all, you see, he talking one having authority, mm -hmm. not as the scribe. Scribes are regular, like preachers of modern day today. They talk a good game. They talk about how good God is, but at the same time, they tell you you ain't got to keep His law. So they're not convinced of it. No, they're not or, persuaded, and they're they're howling. They or they think like they'll say nobody can keep the law. All you have to ask them is which one. They st and they talking from the second witness stand. Yeah, j just ask them which one and see what they say if they say. Well, well, can't nobody sacrifice a goat? Well, you ain't got to do that no more. Right. What you got to eat, Mom? You know, I was at a place um, a while back, and they were telling me, I looked at a scripture, and they were telling me that the Jewish people were not supposed to do a Halloween. Right. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, if I want to keep my grandchildren, I have to do the Halloween. Oh, yeah. and That's the pressure the parents were putting on them. We'll keep and them at home then. Right, they do it at the church. Trunk or treat. Well, well, just like the church called it trunk or treat. Yeah. So, so this is what the pastor do. So, y'all, we're we going to play with the devil in the parking lot, but we ain't going to let him in the church. That's basically all they're saying. But and what we're going to do is make sure ain't no razor blades, you know, yeah. or... Needles in the can. It's needles in their words. Boy. Yeah, razor. Strain out of that. Needles, razor, poison, all of us in there. Needles in their words and razors in their ways. In the church, took all the sugars back, and they had a uh, 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 everything going on in the church inside the auditorium for the children. And look, y'all, and we don't want to get misunderstood that all churches are like this. There's some churches out there. They read the word, they just don't know who they, what their heritage is. Mm -hmm. See, our problem is more of Israelites knowing who they are. They're the ones going the most crazy. Yep. Mm -hmm. See, because they know who they are, but yet they're making it impossible for the people in the church to even come out. Because they're putting them under the curse of the law. They're not giving them the opportunity that we had when we were in the church. Right. Because if they had a drove by and saw us coming out of church in our Easter clothes, they'd have told us up, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. yes. 
So what we're talking about is who can accept reproof and correction. We done been to some churches where the preacher said, this is the last day I teach that. I'll be teaching this from now on. So not all of them are on that. They just misunderstood mainly by the priesthood is the reason they saying the law is done away with. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, it's the law of the flesh that's done away with. We don't chase, keep chasing, correct your flesh. That's going to make you keep doing it. We're talking about correct your mind. When you riding in a car to go do dirt and your conscience is burning you up, look, we kill them, they're going to get us or somebody we know. You got to say, let me out the car, though. Look, because what is it about? It's about us selling dope and in the game. What righteousness we got riding? How are we going to pull righteousness out of this? You understand what I'm saying? There, like, is, there is no righteousness whatsoever in none of it. You're already connected with a, a, a an affiliation that's all about breaking law. Yeah. But you try to be righteous. <laughs> Let us hurry up to then run you, to, to go do Bob. Then you claim in a, a, a street or a set that you don't own. Yes, sir. At that all. your name ain't on. Right. At all. That all uh, 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 one cop car with two white males have to just pull down and make everybody scout. Boy, look here. Right the and then spray on your wall this eye block. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody comes and cross their name out. Right. But we do it to each other. The whole thing is rotten. Everything about it is right. Vanity. Vanity. Worthless. <laughs> they and tell they, you they, not to cut your life. Like, tell you law breaking is your best life. And we create we create this cycle. Yeah. Right. That never stops. Yeah. It's a revolving door. You kill them, they come kill you. Keep yeah. cloning. You kill them, wrong. they come kill you. Yeah. And in the midst of all that, it's still crime. You still breaking crimes because you're selling dope to your people. You're yeah. killing off the other ones that ain't, that you ain't shooting. Yeah. Or in your neighborhood, or you're bringing them down and making them addicted to something they can't even afford, right. and they already got issues. Mm-hmm. It's just bad on top of bad. Ain't nothing good about it. Nothing. And on the, on top of it all, we all being held accountable for it. Y'all know the worst doctrine out there. It's called man worship. <clears throat> it will make COVID just seem like a sniffly nose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll do this compared to man worship. Man worship is the most dangerous thing on dangerous. planet Earth. War is deadly. Earth to it's trust deadly. in an individual whose skin is corrupted. And say, I trust him more than I do the Father on high. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? If they kill themselves, you're going to kill That's all it is. Self worship and got you worshiping them. It's about the sisters and young mothers I'm hearing saying they require me time and self time and taking off from their children I saw to be more into myself. And That's what it's about. Lovers of themselves in the last yeah. days. Sister, it was a video of a sister drop her kids off at her mama's house because she cooked them with a new boyfriend. Yeah. He told her she don't want no children. What? She don't want to be involved with no kids. What? So she took her kids over to her mother's house. Her mother's like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm dropping them off to Uh-oh. you. She's like, for what? She's like, I got a new boyfriend. Uh-oh. I want to live my life. And, I, and he don't want no kids. What? So I'm dropping them off to you. I want to. <clears throat> she said he want to he want to travel and see the world. I do, too. But he don't want no kids. So I don't want to be bothered with these kids. I want to live my life now. So I don't want to be bothered with these kids. I'm dropping them off to you. See, so like Junior and Man Man asked for that life during conception. You know, like if they... She said, I don't want them no more because I want to travel with my new boyfriend who wants to see the world. And he don't want to have nothing to do with them kids. So I don't want them either. You you know where this doctrine come from, Elijah? It's come from when you chase like Judah, the fourth tribe that we come from, the tribe Shalom said, then where the Messiah come from, the fourth tribe, y'all understand? They take that literally that we're the lion of the tribe, you know, of the jungle. They go at the jungle edge of it, not the spiritual edge of the nature edge of the lion. Because, see, a lion, when it takes a new lioness, it kills her cubs from another lion. Mm -hmm. So you got this new doctrine out here now that uh, men, if they got a woman, they're actually pumping that. Well, you're going to have to send them children to their dad. What they, what, what they, I don't know who their daddy is. We ain't seen him. He said he went to go get a loaf of bread and we ain't seen him. Uh-oh. But if you will, hit a little bit of that Sirach. 
uh, uh, chapter uh, 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 4, verse 9. Just, just so we get some understanding on what a stepfather is supposed to be or what his mindset is supposed to be. Because we had the chief stepfather that they be lying on, the stepfather of our Messiah. Mm -hmm. That took care of the Messiah when he was right. a youth. That was his no, stepfather. You understand? But read a little bit of that, y'all. We're in the Apocrypha. Sirach, y'all. We read books, you know, that pertain to the Bible as long as they keep the law. It's verse 10, brother. Verse 9 and 10, yeah. What, what say? 9 and 10? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're in the book of Ecclesiastes, <coughs> or Sirach, in the Apocrypha. Yeah. Verse 9. Yeah. Deliver him that suffereth wrong from the hand of the oppressor. Uh huh. And be not faint hearted when thou sittest in judgment. You can't be faint hearted. You got to be, your heart got to be strong when you're sitting in judgment. You can't waver. Oh, he going to think I'm saying the wrong thing. No. Truth is an absolute. You can't waver when you're coming with truth. Go ahead. Verse 10. Yeah. Be as a father unto the father. Be as a father unto the fatherless. Most women got single children with them. Go ahead. And instead of an husband unto their mother, uh -huh. so shall thou be as the son of the Most High. And he shall love thee more than thy mother does. So it say be a father more to the children of the fatherless than a husband to their mother. You got to understand this is a package deal when it comes. Mm -hmm. Right. If you can't accept a package deal, you can't drive the children away nowhere else. That's crazy, man. Hell, he's sitting outside the tire shop. What they going to be doing, sitting out there too? Mm -hmm. So he's going to do the same when she have his children. Boy, look here, same he thing. Change? What makes you think it's going to change? He don't want no responsibilities. That's a man's duty on this earth. Ain't got that no more. Point one, once a man child is born into this earth, his first his first ordeal, his first assignment is responsibility. Yeah. Read that 11 and 12. Okay, go ahead, bro. Wisdom exalteth her children uh -huh. and layeth hold of them that seek her. He that loveth her loveth life. Uh -huh. And they that seek to her early shall be filled with joy. See, so y'all, there's no way to get around that beast mentality doctrine because that's all it is. Anytime you look at a child and say, I want y'all mama, but not y'all. Boy, that's crazy. Verse 8 say, let, not thy, let it not grieve thee to bow down thou ear to the poor. Boy, look here. So how is it grievous because she got children? Boy, look. So what do you want? What you there for? Right. You're not there to be a husband. Right. You're not there right. to be a father. Hey. You're there to be a, a, a hip swiveler. Hey, hey. Yep. A hey booer. Oh. <laughs> Let's get some more of this, y'all. Y'all finish that 21. Sirach chapter 19 while we was in this apocrypha. Y'all don't have it, look at your smartphones, just Google Sirach PDF. Yeah. Verse 1. Now I'll tell you what, 18, that's what we need to be. Just 18 <coughs> through 25. Is that what we're saying? 18 through 30. 18 through 30. Sirach chapter 19, verse 18. <coughs> Y'all have to understand when the Most High say fear is not the fear that the devil puts out there. The devil put out fear, F E A R. False evidence appearing <coughs> real. But it's fake, y'all. It's fake. It's fake, fake, fake. It's like Donald Trump. Say fake news. It's, it's like that. False fear. But when you fear the most high, you understand that he controls life and death. That's right. Let's get some up. Sirach chapter 19, verse yeah. 18. Yes, sir. The fear of the most high is the first step to be accepted of him. Y'all see what the first step is? Read that again, Elijah. The fear of the most high is the first step to be accepted of him. Uh-huh. And wisdom obtained his love. See, if you don't fear everything he's saying in this book, that he has the power to do everything and power mm -hmm. over your life, you're wasting your time with this because the devil going to bail out on you. The devil always bails out when he hear the sirens coming. And then you're looking at your hand. Where all this blood come from? Mm -hmm. 
Put them bloody hands behind your back. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> the knowledge of the commandments of the Most High is the doctrine of life. Please read that again. The knowledge of the commandments of the Most High is the doctrine of life. So it says the knowledge of them, once you know them, then it brings forth life. Then you won't, you can watch your steps then. Mm -hmm. Because once you know the knowledge of the law, you like, God has been good to me because I did that, I did mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. According to the knowledge of that law, I should be dead. Long time then that means mercy Long been showed to me. Right. Right. Now, yeah. you can now you can acknowledge. Now you can acknowledge. Let's get some more. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. What are they going to receive it from where? The tree of immortality. See, that's what was in the garden of Eden. That's the tree uh, 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 That's the tree of life, life was in the garden. Yeah. The other tree was the tree of good and evil. It's like your cell phone. There's good in here and there's evil. You can Google some of the things that you don't want nobody to know. Mm. You can do it. It don't have to peep out the window and see who coming home. From what I heard, some of them things folks can do. You know, but uh, or you can Facetime your grandmama you ain't seen. Right. You understand? And there's always a bite out of that apple on the iPhone. What you think that's about? Mm. The tree of good and evil. Right. See y'all, they letting us know right in front of our face yeah. mm. what the situation is. But we have to use this till they say. You got to take the mark of the beast so you can't use that no more. We got to prepare ourselves. We got to walk away from this. Right. Yes, sir. You may have to walk right. away from family members. Take you may have to do too. that when the mark of the beast come out. And when they say you can't buy, sell, or trade, or eat. If y'all think folks crying now, wait till they, Now, wait a minute. You done let that Bible drove you crazy. So Earl them can't eat because the, the mark of the beast. You better take that damn mark. I'm telling you, I'm your mom. Uh, yep. Who's what you going to do? See you later, my mother. What you got? Thank you, man. Go ahead. Go, go. Anybody love mother, son, father more than me is what? Not worth it. And y'all, what he talking about is hate. He's talking about you got to love them less than me. I'm keeping them alive. If they get on their deathbed, who you going to call? You or me to help them out. So why you going to love them more than me and they can't do nothing? When you get sick, who they going to call? Right. It won't be Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get some more. Where we at? Verse uh, 20. The fear of the Most High is, is all wisdom. Yes. Yeah. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. Yes, sir. And the knowledge of his uh, omnipotency. Boy, you handled that. Yes, yes sir. sir. If a servant say to his master, I will not do as it pleaseth thee, oh. though afterward he do it, he angereth him that nourish it. See, and that's what it means, like, you anger him because you have to be made to do it. Right. When this is free will. Yeah. It's a gift of the most high. Right. Who fussing about a gift? Right. Let's get some more. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Uh-huh. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Mm. There is a wickedness and the same an abomination. Abomination. Yeah. And there is a fool wanting in wisdom. He that hath small understanding and fears the most high uh -huh. is better than one that hath much wisdom and transgresseth the law of the most high. Y'all hear this? Uh, you can hear somebody talk about how wise they is. They transgressing the law. If you borderline curly stooges and keep it, <laughs> what law you know, you better than that individual saying he the mighty man. It, it's like this. It's like, why is Albert Einstein called wise? And he split the atom to create a nuclear warhead that will destroy everybody off of life. What, what are we talking about? What are we championing that for? Right. right. Instead of building it, the words say, okay, we need to get this. We can light every home in St. Louis right. for $1 per household per year. That's right. That's what nuclear energy will do for you. But instead, they got it to threaten other nations. To use it for evil. We'll wipe you off the map. Because that's all it takes is one or two nukes. And we threw. If a nuke dropped in Kansas City, we got 30 minutes to get our affairs in order with the Most High before that 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 what what you call it that that uh, the force behind it that shock wave come through her full of radiation and wiping everything as it moves along. With the wind. Hell, they drop uh, uh, Agent Orange on Pluto and they still can't build over there. 
Nope, it's still it's there. It's still an area over there that yeah. the soil just right ain't now. right yet. Yep. Right now. Long Jefferson. They're yep. building on the edges. They're building yeah. on the edges of yeah. it. Yeah. Because if you go deep in, in, inside it's of it, man, yeah. even it's the dirt is white. Yeah, Boy, it's look still here. Ha. And they sprayed that on us as a project. Let's see if they really can withstand something. We hear they're him and roaches. Ray can't kill them. Right. The bug truck can't kill them. <laughs> Some of these too young in here to know about the bug truck. He used to come through your neighborhood spraying that stuff. And we used to be crazy running behind the bug truck. You that? The bug truck. Oh, yeah. We was made to come in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got back there, Emo? Behind the truck. While they were shooting the shit out of it. He just right in the midst of it. I said, that's a dude who be singing here. <laughs> well, I'm talking about, who, yeah, the devil came to him and gave him to him. Steve Jobs, all of them, all of them will tell you, look, this is what they do. They got on supernatural things and oh, bust their pineal gland open like people like to say. LSD, lysergic acid, dithalamine, uh, PCP, all of these drugs, these men were on that. The guy that invented the iPhone was on, on, on LSD. See, so they peeping a little bit, and they bring that technology back, and it's too much for them to handle, too much to handle. Y'all, do you know they say by 2028, AI gonna be out of control? Mm -hmm. AI is gonna take over yeah. this world. It's gonna open doors, it's gonna unlock doors, it's gonna switch your money to somebody else's account. Yeah, it's already doing a lot of stuff, because the guy, one, of the, uh, one of the guys that created it, he said he got out of it, he said, man, had he known ahead of time, he wouldn't even got involved. He said, but it's way beyond their control now. Yeah. He said, it's already out of control. They didn't let the genie out of the box. Yeah. He Can't said, get it he back said, in. He said, in, in a matter of years, it'll be smarter than humans and taking over everything. And guess how it's going to be judging everything from a conscious perspective of your conscious? Yeah. Because everything you do, you put in here, and that's your conscious. Every move you make, everything you Google is what you're thinking. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? That's why they come for this. What's on your mind? And we can tell what's in your wallet mm -hmm. then. And you know they'll have them AIs connected to the beast over in oh, Bellhorn. Look here. So the beast will disclose all the information of everybody on earth to these AI robots. So what can be the only thing in your phone that they keep saying, oh, keep going to scriptures? Right. <laughs> uh, how do I find out if Enoch was the truth? Uh, you, you go in the scriptures, and then there'll be a side peek into big black. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Boy, look here. The black web. Boy, the dark web, they call it. See, they letting you know up front so it's without excuse. Why were you on the dark web? All of us in there, what's on the dark web, y'all? I'm talking about anybody here. What do you even think why they call it the dark web? What you think out there, Lice, on the dark web? Everything dark. Okay. <laughs> alley talk. Alley behavior. The most corrupted you can find. And guess what? You better start scanning these rooms for cameras and these Airbnbs and things while you're having a good time and showing out your prowess like you 18 again. Mm. You on a dark web in China, in the Philippines, they watching you over there. Oh, no. <laughs> you go over there and they say, Star! star. Yeah, Star! Yeah, he's a star! Yeah! 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 Or you can use your cell phone. But you have to be careful because it's a conscious age. And what they're trying to do is just hear every thought. Mm -hmm. So that they can put them algorithms on you and you mm -hmm. start to see things. You're like, wait a minute, I was just thinking that. What they're doing on my phone? Right. That's what, I was thinking. what do you mean, Buffalo Wild Wings? I was just thinking that. I didn't say I was going there. Where well, you going now? It must be an old man. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> finish that up, Lysha. Uh, verse uh, 25. Yeah. There is an ex exquisite subtlety, and the same is unjust. Uh huh. And there is one that turneth aside to make judgment appear. Uh huh. And there is a wise man that justifieth in judgment. 
There is a wicked man that hangeth down his head sad. Uh huh. But inwardly he is full of deceit. Acting like he mm. care about your well being. Right. right. But underneath he like good your ass dying. I've been praying for that. Mm -hmm. You want some water? You done spit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give him a water sandwich. Yeah, give him a water sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> chew it up. Tell him to chew it up. Go eat. Mm -hmm. Casting down his countenance. Yeah. And making as if he heard not. Right. Where is he not known? Uh-huh. He will do the a mischief before. Thou be aware. See, before you know it, he already crept up on you. Mm -hmm. You backpedaling now. Right. That's why you have to be aware, like the script say. Mm -hmm. Be wise as a serpent, serpent not as a serpent, right. but harmless as a dove to yourself first. Know how the devil bring his tricks. You know that ain't your car sitting in your driveway running. Right. Hell, you can even get that inner tube for that bike, and you think the Lord and bless. You. Oh, Lord is a blessing. Mm -hmm. And you get in there. And as soon as you put it in reverse and pull off, the lies are already ticking. I'm going to just say. Let me say, I'm going to just say. Go ahead. <laughs> nope. Oh. Verse 28. Yeah. And if for want of power. If want for what? Power. Uh huh. He be hindered from sinning, yet when he find an opportunity, he will do evil. See, when people want to take over, they want power, y'all. Any situation, Donald Trump wanted power on January the 6th. Mm -hmm. He act like he want to talk about nothing, but he didn't show up down there, did he? No. Mm -hmm. We're going to go down there. Where? Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. He was at Mar-a-Lago when they went down there were climbing over them wall. Yeah, he was watching on TV. Watching on TV like we was. <laughs> <laughs> laughing. Laughing yeah. and saying, yeah. yeah, yeah. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> go yeah, after yeah. Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Pence, he's a coward. Get after him, too. And that's his pot. The devil was on the ticket with him. Y'all yeah. see how fast that a turn? Yeah. turn on, on the like ticket the with him, he called him a coward. Said John McCain was a coward, and he was a war hero. Was cap coat two or three times and wouldn't leave until all the prisoners left. And he told out he was a coward because he he uh, he got himself captured, and then he got out of the military. Tell out he had bone spurs, and you calling this man a coward and he a Y'all understand what I'm saying? Bone spur. They call him private bone spur. And he got out, didn't even have to go. And you talking about a war veteran. Get some more of that, Elisha. Finish that on all. Verse 29. Yeah. A man may be known by his look. Yeah. And one that has understanding by his countenance. Uh-huh. When thou meetest him. Uh-huh. A man's attire. Well, uh-huh. And a excessive laughter. Uh-huh. And gait. Uh-huh. Show what he is. Mm. Show what he is. Yo, he gonna fool you. That's the way the devil comes. You believe that? Like, <laughs> but uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> and then walk away on. Some he know he's sharp. He's sharp. <laughs> Boy, you sound like a uh, shamor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speed it up, y'all. First Corinthians two and nine. Y'all, we're talking about the double-minded man. We're talking about the perils of being lukewarm. You cannot make a decision, don't know which way you're going in that time, in that hour of temptation when the devil comes. When the devil come in your sleep and be choking you, uh-huh, I saw you reading that Bible yesterday, uh-huh, you're going to read tomorrow, mm. ah! Mama, no, mama ain't come, mama, mama ain't here. Mama. But notice if you holler out the Messiah's name, he back off. But you got to know how to lucid dream mean to be in a world even when you dream. Yeah. Or dreams are torment you. It's a war. It's a spiritual war. Boy, look here. First Corinthians 2, 9 through 16, y'all. We're going to speed this up. We got a couple more verses. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't All right. Hike. <laughs> yeah. All right, family. Have faith in me, brother. Yes, sir. Oh, Tell them again. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about faith in you. <laughs> We're reading in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 2, 
starting to read in verse 9. Yes, sir. And it reads, But as it is written, uh -huh. I hath not seen, yes, nor ear heard, neither hath entered into the heart of man uh -huh. the things which Yahweh hath prepared for them that love him. Right. But Yahweh hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. Mm -hmm. For the Spirit searcheth all things. What the Spirit do? Searcheth all things. Uh huh. Yeah, the deep things of Yahweh. Mm. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of Yah knoweth no man. Right. But the spirit of <coughs> Yahweh. Verse 12. Yeah. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yah, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yah. Yes, sir. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, yes, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Y'all see that? Spiritual yes, things with spiritual, not yeah. spiritual and flesh. Go ahead. Verse 14. Yep. Yeah. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. What they judge? Judgeth all things. Uh huh. Yet he himself is judged of no man. That's right. For who hath known the mind of the Most High, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Hamashiach. Yeah. So y'all, who had known him? The only way you can know him is through the spirit. That's right. You can't know him through flesh because men will tell you I'm that individual. Right. I'm God. And you got a prescription? Hmm. Something wrong with that. I'm God. And you got a pair of these on. Right. You don't know your own word. Look here, you can't give me instruction <laughs> till you say, hold on, hold on. Let me show you where I am in here. Do y'all know Hulon Mitchell that called himself Yahweh Ben Yahweh was reading the scriptures like he reading about himself. And and uh, y'all see here where, where they, they wrote about me saying my eyes is crazy and you know, and my skin is brown. Ain't my skin brown and my eyes crazy. No, it don't say crazy eyes. Mm, it said his eyes red with no. wire from the wrath of his indignation. Yeah. It didn't say nothing about crazy eyes. Green eyes ain't going to make you fit revelation. Y'all understand? But they was going crazy. Yeah, we see it. We see them crazy eyes. Yes, sir. That's that give us a king spirit. Crazy nigga. That's that give us a king spirit. That flesh worship. We're going to the book of Romans. Yes, sir. Chapter 8. And we'll be starting the reading in verse 1. Y'all, yeah, we have to get this understanding of what spirit is because spirit is coming. It's coming in these games for these children. And that's who they coming after them. What do they call them goggles? Them, uh, what do they call them? The virtual, reality. virtual reality goggles. Y'all, that's why we having all them school shoes. Right. Yeah, this, this brother uh, say he, he bought one. Say man, he he playing it. He, you know, he said he couldn't wait to get home to play it. So I asked him the next day, how was it? He said, brother. He said, man, I'm I'm in this game, man. My my uh, son came and said something to me while because it's some game he say where you shooting people that's coming like yeah. he said people jumping through wall uh, yeah. houses or windows or whatever and shooting like. This man is like you actually in this room, yeah. man. And he said, man, they sent all these white boys. He, he said it was a racist, some kind of yeah. race game. Mm -hmm. He said uh, all these white boys charged them, saying, hey, there, nigga, get him, get him. Yeah. He said he's shooting these white boys. He said, man, his son came and tapped him on the shoulder. He came, he swung on his son, man. Yeah. Thought he was in. Thought he was in there. He thought he in the game. He he in the game, but somebody <coughs> touching him. Right. He he reacted. Yeah. Like he's still in the game. No, 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 man, that's dangerous, brother. Yes, sir. What you got, Noah? Um, you know, uh, I'm thinking of, you know, after things. Yeah. I don't think it's that bad. But, and not that bad, but you, you got to know how to use 
Well, and see, and that's what we're talking about. It's just like this right here. Good and evil. Well, it's, look, it, it's good. This the problem. If you don't have no strength over your mental, it's gonna get you. Notice you're saying the same thing you say in a dream that was so real. That when people ask you, what's the matter? Nothing. After the third, what's the matter? You finally say, man, what's that dream? Man, it was so real. Ah, oh, man, everybody. No, no, I was in, I was there. I was there, and you like, you was there. Man, I'm telling you, man, 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 look. I know you think I'm crazy, but I was there. And that's what they're trying to get that effect of getting you there and to kill it. So that when that position comes back up, that's your first mind. You, to kill like that. And I understand what you're saying, Noah. A lot of children got them and they get through them, but you got to have a foundation. You got to know that it's always a game. Right. No more than when you watch football games. No more than when you watch basketball games on regular TV because they in HD. Right. right. I'm talking about that HD so clear you can see pimples and, and yeah. hair bumps on yeah. people. You know, you're like, this is crystal clear. But it's in every one of those realms because they're also putting witchcraft out yeah. on that TV level. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So y'all, we have to be careful. But like you said, to get them off of it, it's in almost in everything, y'all. You just have to make sure that it don't overpower your pineal gland. Right. And if you got children that's bad, ain't what you going to get that form for? Hell no. You're going to be sleeping like this every night. I refuse. That's how you're going to have to sleep? It ain't happening. Go ahead. What you had over there? It was a story that I watched on YouTube with this uh this guy that survived this this event where it's uh, him and him and uh him and his wife son was in the, in the house playing the game you know sitting there playing the game and uh he said he was one one minute he said he was just day him and his son him and his son-in-law was playing the game and next thing you know he say the son-in-law just started staring into space yeah and he you know he ain't mind he just kept on playing the game he said then the son-in-law got up walked out the room went into the other room and grabbed a gun and he came back and he started busting. He shot his mama first, killed his mama. Oh, yes. Killed his mama first. And turned, you know, he tried to, like, what you doing? He tried to say he tried to get him before he went to shooting at his, shooting at him. Yeah. And he shot him too, and he ended up running out the house. He ended up getting shot like nine times, ran out the house. That's when they get locked in that world. It's like what they call sleep paralysis. Right. You're trying to wake up, but you can't. He, he was gone. You hear the person next to you or anybody in the room. But they can't hear you, they can't feel you struggling trying to wake up. You're in that realm, and that's what I'm saying. They're trying to get out. They're trying to get out of it, but you can get locked in there. So you just have to be careful with anything that they create because it's not off limits to anybody. Not wearing those goggles and watching that HD TV or watching your phone or different things with however you're doing them things, it has its way to find its way inside that consciousness that don't have the laws of the most high end. You understand what I'm saying? That's the key. That's what will block it from, that's the hedge that the most high have around you. But you got to keep his commandments to be able right. to go in there like that. You got to have faith in Christ. Because if you don't, the devil is lurking in them things. Yeah, he, he laying there waiting. And now this, they got gangs of where you hook up with the other people done. I hear my nephew holler, there he is, man! He behind the door. Man, stupid nigga, man. There, there he is! Oh, you messing the they game up online. for me. Yeah, they playing online. They playing yeah. online. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then look, oh, he just got killed. And he keep on going. That was your partner, wasn't it? Yeah. Y'all yeah. understand that the mindset is, is working on the weak you mind. No heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. The mind that says laws we make up the laws as we go. Mm -hmm. Do what you want. Do what you want. Yeah. 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 Desensitize the children to, to a reality. Look, when they see the blood exactly. splatter out. Look, but then after it was all said and done, now, like I said, the, the husband ran out the house, he didn't say his first shot was through the hand and to the head. Yeah. So both hands. He got shot through both hands. I'm like, no. He tried to grab the gun. Like, well, what you doing? And he say, raise the gun now. So he got shot like nine times from mm. out the house. So he run out screaming bloody murder. Help, help, help. The neighbors call the police. The police come. The boy don't even know what's going on. No, the devil done left in. 
He, he, he got the gun. He, he, they tell him to put the gun, gun down. He's scared. He panic. He don't know what. He, he confused. He delirious with the gun in his hand. They're like, yeah. put the gun down. I don't want to shoot. Put the gun down. He, yeah. like, he put it to his head. And he's like, no, I don't want to do that. So he's like, put the gun down. Put the gun down. He finally put the gun down. But he don't know what to call See, him. See, this is how... Sad. You have to be careful because in them games, they ain't gonna let you kill the police. What what's the end result of it? You can kill everybody. What what's the end result of it? Huh? It's the end result of it. I'm just yeah. saying, after you kill the police, where you go next? What's the next point of the game? Well, yeah, you can, you can run away or you can put a code in where you get the police off you. And then, but you're still running. You keep yeah, running. You run so you're back a fugitive and a vagabond. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So even though you do this, they said this was going to happen to you if you get away with killing the police. We're going to be on your rear end. We're going to chase you to the ends of the earth. You're going to keep running. And then you looking at them again, you're like, where are you going? He got to keep running. He jump on this building, he's still another car. He go over here. Don't y'all understand the whole thing is just a crime mindset yeah. that we can get away from the law. All we got to do is kill the law. That's what they said about the Messiah. If we kill him, we can do what we need to do. He'll be gone. He cutting in our money. Man, I heard he went over there and flipped them tables over at the church. Who he think he is? Man, run the money changers out of that. Man, then called a high priest a, a snake. Him and that damn John. Disrespect. You may be a guard snake, but you ain't no rattlesnake. You still a snake. Boy, look here. Let's finish this up, y'all. We got a couple more scripts. We're going to get on out of here. All right, family. We're going to be reading in the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 1. Yep. Yeah. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Yes, sir. Who walk not after the flesh, uh -huh. but after the spirit. Yeah. For the law of the spirit of life is Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Uh -huh. Have made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, uh -huh. Yahweh sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh yes, sir. and for sin condemned sin in the flesh yes sir that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us yes. who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit so it's telling you the only way you can find the righteousness of the law it can only be done through the spirit up here where you think before you act and then you won't have to say, my bad, every other man. My bad, my bad. You ain't got to say that if the law is up here because you think about it. You know, you don't have to say, my bad, when you see somebody with some new white chucks on. Or Air Force One, and you're like, I'm going to step on that shoe and act like I didn't mean. Yeah, and put a stain on the and on the shoestring. And he think he's something. Oh, my bad, dog. But see, the law of the spirit ain't going to let you do that. Why Why envy him? Why you envying him? Because your shoes run over, you know, is that the problem? It ain't like he stole them. He worked for them. He been working all summer for them. Yeah. And you do that, you know, and that's what I'm saying. But if you're thought up here about wrong, you, I can't do that. It, it's like you think, I, ooh, I could kill him. Then you have to think, no, I can't because I'm going to spend the rest of my life in jail. You can't think about that after the act is done. Mm -hmm. But I didn't mean it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't matter. Don't I matter. On first uh, you have a lot of time to think about it, right. where you're going. Mm -hmm. What you got, Emo? You have to. That's why I say gird the loins of your mind. Mm -hmm. See, when you look at loins, it's your waist from your navel down to mid thigh. That's the that's your loin. Where do you have that up here? That means the thought about down there must be checked up here first. Right. So then you won't have to hear what you mean you pregnant. I thought you was on the pill. I thought you said you had protection. Mm. 
See, when you're thinking up here first, mm -hmm. if any of that went right, we're in the right position. It's not a problem for us to be fruitful and multiply. This is a bird now. You understand? Because it got your flesh got control. The loins of your mind was overpowered about the loins in your britches. You understand what I'm saying? It overpowered what you were thinking. Or they're going to think you a chump if you don't. You better do it. They looking at you. You going to be a coward? Yes, I'll be a coward. Because I don't need that 18 year sentence. Right. I got things to do. Boy, look here. That big disease. Y'all know the one with them three letters. A little name. With that little name, K-I-D-S. Mm -hmm. It will get you for 18 years. Mm -hmm. If you make the wrong decision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some more. Back in the book of Romans chapter 8, and we're in verse 5. Right. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Uh-huh. But they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. Uh huh. For to be carnally minded is death. Oh. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Uh huh. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Yahweh. Mutual hatred. Mm -hmm. For it is not subject to the law of Yahweh. Uh huh. Neither indeed can be. So Romans ain't telling us to get rid of the law. It's just telling us look at the law from up here. Because if you keep looking at that from up here, you're going to keep saying, I'm sorry, or my bad. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you think it out first, you're like, no, I ain't going to do that. And then you realize, man, woo, man, I ain't even see that police sitting back there. Right. Right. Man, I almost did that. But just that quick thought, it may be somebody watching, don't you right. do that. Right. right. Verse 8. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yah. See that? If you're in the flesh with this, if you worship a man in the flesh, it's impossible to please God. It's impossible because they're going to make you do something against the Most High once they have control over you. Yep. That being the operative word, control. Control. And that's what these brothers after. Control. Control. They're they ain't promising you nothing. Come on. You you gonna have you gonna be over these people when we get to the new kingdom. Right. You gonna have a thousand people under you waiting on you. Right. Yeah. General on death. Yeah. yeah. And you believe that. Yeah. Come on, man. You couldn't even get promoted at Burger King to Come have on, some people man. under you. <laughs> or look to here, fries to chicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some more. He can't even get on the grill. Well, right, right. <laughs> Isaiah 29. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, yeah. Isaiah 29 13. Y'all, we ain't got but two more, y'all. We be out of here. But y'all, we got to get rid of that double mind, y'all. And that double mind, the biggest double mind is if you see some wickedness that's generating money. You feel just for a brief second, well, maybe his son could be right about it. How are you getting money? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the devil, the devil the blesses devil you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the devil gives you what you want, that's gives you your lust. Well, that's the good of God. You know, the good of God. What I say? 2913? Okay. You know, the hood got God. Yes, sir. What the hood got, bro? A God. Yeah. The hood got a God. Yeah. yeah. The hood God. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. <laughs> boy, God of this world. Right. Oh, boy, you like, wait a minute here. <laughs> Let's get it, y'all. Isaiah 29, 13, right? Yes, sir. Let's get it. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. What were they doing up there, Isaiah? <laughs> no, I'm waiting up. I'm looking at this waiting on him to read. Well, I thought you was up on the No, I wasn't up here. I wasn't up here. There ain't no flag. I'm right here. Okay. Bring us reports. Yeah. Go ahead. 
Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Uh -huh. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, yes. and with their lips do honor me, uh -huh. but have removed their heart far from me, uh -huh. and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Y'all see that? They tell you how to fear God. Man, God ain't going to care about you doing that. Right. Man, God know your heart. He know your heart is desperately what? Wicked. Wicked. Okay, let's read some more. Let's see. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, uh -huh. even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, uh -huh. and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Most High. See, this is deep, y'all, we into. you trying to hide your counsel that you're doing from the Most High. Right. Notice they always call it deep. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. whisper. And they whisper. And they whisper. Go ahead, what else to say? Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Most High. Oh. And their works are in the dark. Where are they works yeah. at? In the dark. Uh -huh. And they say, who seeth us? Yeah. yeah. And who knoweth us? Look, if you got to hide your witchcraft book with a paper bag around the top, you into darkness. Light don't need no cover over it. The Masons, they, they love that darkness. If you hide what you're learning because you fear that this will be a problem if somebody saw you, then it is a problem. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because you hide. Truth don't hide, do it? No, sir. Truth say stand on the rooftop and holler it out sir. with all your might. Right. Is a candlestick brought to be... Boy, look here. You don't put a candlestick under a bed, do you? No, I'll burn it up. I want light under there so I can see if there's some dust under there. Or is that monster under there to get me when I'm asleep? We're going to be the fire monster first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some more. Verse 16. Yeah. Surely your turning of things upside down uh -huh. shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Uh -huh. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? When you say the law of God is tampered with, this is what you're saying. The potter is, uh, the clay is telling the potter what to do now. Mm -hmm. Man, I read your law, man. I ain't with that. Miss me with that. I'm on to this new thing. Right, right. I leveled up. Boy, I done leveled up. Mm -hmm. But all you did is deviled up. Mm -hmm. Let's get some more. Verse 17. Yeah. Is it not yet a very little while, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest? Uh-huh. And in that day, Shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of the obscurity and out of darkness? Uh huh. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Most High. Uh huh. And the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. Yes, sir. That make a man an op that an make a man an offender for a word, uh -huh. and lay a snare for him that repro reproveth in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Uh -huh. Therefore, thus says the Most High, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob: Jacob shall not be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. Uh -huh. But when he seeth his children the work of mine hands in the midst of him, they shall sanctify my name and sanctify the Holy One of Jacob and shall fear the God of Israel. They also that erred in the spirit, that erred what? That erred in the spirit uh -huh. shall come to understanding. And they that murmured shall learn doctrine. You're going to learn it. You ain't going to mock the Most High. He say you can... Lay down, I mean, you can get down or you can lay down. But the bottom line is, when you all get through talking all that tough talk, you're going to be at judgment day. You can boo the lie to you. Just like he told you that was uh, beef fried rice, it ain't. It's the rice. It's the rice. It's a coon stew. Look here. 
and thought that was a Saint Paul, but it was a Saint Bernard Paul. Saint Paul. The 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 Paul. And the prophet for y'all, this gonna give us some good understanding on not being lukewarm, y'all. You you got to decide which road you gonna go down. If it looks like these individuals, y'all gonna say, okay. If, if it looks like it's evil, it probably is, y'all. If it's whispered to you, if it's saying don't tell nobody, it's on the dark side. Yeah, it is. If you say they won't understand it, it's of the dark side. This is so a one-year-old will understand the scripture. He says it's not grievous, and he say I talk to you plain. If you can't understand it spiritually, I'll bring it down to a level where you can understand. But ain't nothing in here or in this Bible that's too great for you to understand the law because it's obedience. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't make laws that you can't obey. Right. Let's finish this up, y'all, so we get on out of here. Sirach 16. Who was that, Lice? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Starting at 1. Yeah. Sirach chapter 16, verse 1. Yeah. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children. Uh huh. Neither delight in ungodly sons. You see that? See? They talk all that polygamy talk, but in the book of Judges, Gideon had 70 sons. 69 of them was killed by one of them. See, see, so when you understand that you have to make sure, yeah, you can talk about having children. But we got individuals talking about, well, if you have 12, mm -hmm. and it's 12 of us and I have 12, we can get to 144,000. And none of them know who their daddy is. Right. Mm -hmm. They don't even know who you are. Right. Yeah. You ain't signed no report card enough. Mm -hmm. Then there's one cat out here got five wives, but he only got one son out of five wives. Boy. Why is that? You lacking. Yeah. <laughs> you so called married for about four years. You what? lacking real oh, bad. Like what's happening? Well, he's running thin, dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. He, dog, dog water don't produce. <laughs> five wives and one son? One son. He you lacking, boy. He got no strength. Yeah. <laughs> and that one probably ain't his. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let's read some more, boy. Yeah, so, yeah. Read some yes, sir. <laughs> Verse 2. <laughs> Though they multiply, rejoice not in them. Uh-huh. Except the fear of the Most High be with them. That's the only way. Trust not thou in their life. Uh-huh. Neither respect their multitude. For one that is just is better than a thousand. Uh -huh. And better it is to die without children uh -huh. than to have them that are ungodly. Y'all see that? Better don't produce than you keep saying that's bad ass, keep going in and out of penitentiary. Right. That's who broke in your house, bad ass. Yeah. That's who stole your car, bad ass. Uh -huh. Now you have bad It's ass better that too. you don't have no children yeah. than to have bad ass because you get spiritual children. Yeah. Hold on, now you can have two bad asses, not Boy, you look bad ass of his own. Let's get some up. Verse 4. Yeah. For by one that hath understanding shall the city be replenished. Uh-huh. But the kindred of the wicked shall speedily become desolate. Mm. Many such things have I seen with mine eye. Uh-huh. And mine ear hath heard greater things than these. In the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled. In a rebellious nation wrath is set on fire. Uh -huh. He was not pacified toward the old giants uh -huh. who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. Neither spared he the place where Lot sojourned, uh -huh. but abhorred them for their pride. You see that? So he said, you ain't impressing me, the giants. Right. They has been. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, uh, what does it say? Neither place where Lot sojourned. Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. It's a dust bowl. It's mm -hmm. just talked about now. Right. They ain't making no noise. Mm. Go ahead. What else to say? Hated for their pride. Yes, sir. They had pride, pride parades, pride month, pride yeah. season. Boy, ain't that guy? Look at me. Yeah. Verse nine. Yeah. He pitied not the people of perdition, 
who were taken away in their sins. Zeb, if you will, just get perdition while he reads so we can clearly that Judas went to perdition. Perdition is a place that said after judgment you, you already got your destination. You already marked for it. Perdition. Got your name on it. Yes, sir. You're marked with the death penalty. And it says, he pitied not the people of perdition who were taken away in their sins. See, they're marked for hell. So judgment day, that's why he say it'll be easier if you go to somebody how they want to hear you shake the dust from your feet. It's easier for the people in Sodom and Gomorrah than for that house on judgment day. So Sodom ain't been judged. They just got annihilated. Mm -hmm. They'll be told on judgment day why that hot brimstone rained on them. Let's get some more. Perdition. A state of final spiritual ruin. A final spiritual what? Ruin. Ruin. Loss of the soul. Loss of what? The soul. Damnation. The future state of the wicked. The future state of the wicked. That's perdition, y'all. It said Judas went to perdition. Second Thessalonians. Shalom, Y'all good? Y'all going to have to get that stick them, okay? <laughs> yeah, tell y'all what it is. That's that glue. Yeah, stick to their hand. They have to eat and yeah. keep it glued to their hand. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, family. Shalom, Shalom. 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 Yes, sir. He got it. He got it. Yeah. Shalom, Davion. Shalom. 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 Where we at on that license? Uh, verse uh, 10. 11, uh, 10. Nor the 600,000 footmen who were gathered together in the hardness of their heart. Uh huh. And if there be one stiff necked among the people, it is more it is marvel if he escape unpunished. Uh huh. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. As his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judges the man according to his work. How he judge him? According to his work. See, if you chase that karma doctrine, they can make up anything as why you're getting retribution. It may not even be for that. Right. See, when the Most High repay you to your face, it's about that crime so right. you understand it's about that crime. Right. You don't have to guess. Wonder if it's about this. Mm -hmm. Wonder if it's about that. See, when you teach that karma doctrine from... Uh, uh, them Hindus, mm -hmm. it make you think anything could be coming back to oh, you right. from any position. Right, right. Yeah. You know, this why that happened to you because you climbed up on that roof. That ain't got nothing to do with the law. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. See, that's that uh, doctrine that uh, Job's friends was uh, hitting. You trying to with, hit him at with, yeah, with that, that karma doctrine. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, verse 13. Yeah. The sinner shall not escape with his spoils, mm -hmm. and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. Right. Make way for every work of mercy. Right. For every man shall find according to his works. The most high hardened Pharaoh, that he should not know him. Uh huh. That his powerful works might be known to the world. Uh huh. His mercy is manifest to every creature. And he hath separated his light from the darkness within the adamant. So right here, verse 15, it say the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. Yes. See, people are wrong with that and say, see, God wouldn't let him do right. No. But that ain't what it talked about. When you get into Exodus 7 and 1, he told Moses, I'm going to make you a God to Pharaoh right. because he thinks he's God. Right. But the power I'm going to put on you, he going to know who God is. The hardening of the heart was by Pharaoh keep looking at that and the pride. The act made his heart harden. He said, I'm going to harden his heart because I'm going to tell him you got in front of all his people. Right. It's, it's like Trump. I didn't lose. You lost. Right. But his heart is hard. Right. Yeah. I didn't lose. Right. I got some people down there. I asked some people in Georgia, get me some votes so I can win. I didn't lose. <laughs> but yet you lost. Right. That's a hardened heart. <laughs> He don't want the same system that got him in there that he say full of tricks. Right. How he won, but he don't want to use against him. Right. Y'all understand? That's a hardened heart. The Most High didn't do it like that. He just put something in your face to show you what God really is. You think you God, but you have no power, Pharaoh. Let's get some more. 
Uh, 16. Yeah. His mercy is manifest to every creature, and he has separated his life from the darkness with an adamant. Say not thou, I will hide myself from the Most High. Uh huh. Shall any remember me from above? I shall not be remembered among so many people. Yeah. For what is my soul among such an infinite number of creatures? See, he ain't gonna pay no attention to me, this little bit of wickedness I'm doing. Right. He ain't worried about me. Right, right. Not he right. got bigger fish to fry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I wanna stick my hand in a pound, but he ain't worried about oh, me. Oh, oh. 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 Okay, let's read on. <laughs> 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 Behold the heaven and the heaven of heavens, the deep and the earth, and all that therein is shall be moved when he shall visit. Yeah. The mountains also and the foundations of the earth shall be shaken with trembling uh -huh. with the most high looketh upon them. Yeah. No heart can think upon these things worthily. Mm. And who is able to conceive his ways? It is a tempest which no man can see. For the most part of his works are his. Uh -huh. Who can declare the works of his justice? Or who can endure them? For his covenant is a far off, and the trial of all things is in, in in the end. Right. He that wanted understanding will think upon vain things, and a foolish man turn imaginate folly. Uh huh. My son, hearken unto me, and learn knowledge, and mark my words with thy heart. Yeah. I will show forth doctrine and weight. Yeah. And declare his knowledge exactly. The works of the Most High are done in judgment from the beginning. And from the time he made them, he disposed the parts thereof. Yes, sir. He garnished his works forever. And in his hand are the chief of them unto all generations. They neither labor nor are weary, neither nor cease from their works. None of them hindereth another, and they shall never disobey his word. Yeah. After this, the Most High looked upon the earth and filled it with his blessings. With all manner of living things have they covered the face thereof, and they shall return into it again. So last one, y'all, Sirach 39th chapter, while we still there, we ain't going to read the whole chapter. We'll leave for y'all. We got uh, 15 minutes. Unless Elijah done been to Evelyn Wood, Woodhead School of Speed Reading. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, y'all. 39 and what? One. Yes, sir. But he that giveth his mind to the law of, of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof uh -huh. will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients uh -huh. and be occupied in prophecy. You see what he's going to be? Mm -hmm. See, his mind is going to be single. They're going to be doubled up. Right. This is what you got to sink out. Our ancients, not that, that mysterious ancient people just hanging out in the universe somewhere. Right. Right. Not them. The ancients of our forefathers that done right. Yes, sir. Let's get some more. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men. And where subtile parables are, he will be there also. Yes, sir. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. Uh -huh. He shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries, for he hath tried the good and the evil among men. Uh -huh. He will give his heart to resort early. To resort early to the Most High that made him. Yes, sir. And will pray before the Most High. What will he do? Pray before the Most High. Uh huh. And will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. And make supplications for what? His sins. See, don't you know when somebody call him a God? They're saying I don't sin no more. Especially according to that Bible, I'm not a sinner. Mm -hmm. If I tell you don't wash your rear end, mm. don't wash. Right. Yeah. Hmm. No. Them won't make supplications for their sin. You have to say, Lord, I'm sorry. I done did that again. Can you fix me? Hmm. Well, they don't do that no more. They just pray for gifts. Yeah. They pray for gifts. They ain't, they yeah. ain't praying for in repentance. Yes, sir. They pray for worldly things. Yeah. Yeah, I want to look good before yes, sir. my pocket. I pray you give me them 24. Yes, sir. 
Yeah. And see, when they talk Amen. about praying for 24, look like yeah. demons yeah. return yeah. to the world. Yeah. Look like demons return to the world. Look, these individuals that fall off and try to get you off the Bible, all you have to do is watch them. They return right to the world. They start doing the world hand signs. They start hanging out with the world. Mm -hmm. They show you pictures with the world. You get jealous. Right. Mm -hmm. Why? Right. Cause you're with a worldly person. Right. Right. That yeah. makes you jealous. Right. right. No, that means. Damn, he he's going, going up in Buffy's mansion. Damn, I'm jealous. Exactly. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Jealous of that one? Uh -huh. He up in Puffy's match. <laughs> if you jealous of that, <laughs> what was you? You have you have other aspirations. Oh, right. oh, right. <laughs> right. Literally, that way, that's what John literally said. Aspirations. Because we're gonna be sweaty. Go ahead, let's get it, y'all. Uh, what I leave out there. <laughs> Six. 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 Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> when, when the great most high will, we yeah. shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. Uh huh. He shall pour out wise sentences. Yeah. And give thanks unto the most high in his prayer. Right. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets shall he meditate. See, that's the only place uh -huh. you're secreted to when you're in your thoughts and you're talking to the Most that's High. Right, that's right. Because that's what he tell you to go in your closet and talk to me. See, this is what you do, you know, when you're on this path. When you're single mind, right, right. not double mind. You're not lukewarm. Right. Your heart is fire for the Most High. Right. Let's get some more. He shall show forth that which he hath learned and shall glory in the law what of, he gonna of, glory the in? of the Most High. Glory in the law of the covenant of the Most High. Uh huh. Many shall condemn, commend his understanding. Uh huh. And so long as the world endureth, it shall not be blotted out. His memorial shall not depart away, and his name shall live from generation to generation. Uh huh. Nations shall show forth his wisdom, and the congregation shall declare his praise. Yes, sir. If he die, if he what? If he die, uh huh. He shall leave a greater name than a thousand. And if he live, he shall increase it. Yes, sir. Yet have I more to say, which I have thought upon. For I am filled as the moon at the full. Yeah. Hearken unto me, ye holy children, and bud forth as, as a rose growing by the brook of the field. Yeah. And give ye a sweet savor, a frankincense, and flourish as a lily. Send forth a smell, and sing a song of praise. Bless the Most High in all his works. Right. Magnify his name. Show forth his praise with the songs of your lips and with hearts. And in praising him, ye shall say after this manner, All the works of the Most High are exceeding good, and whatsoever he commanded shall be accomplished in due season. Yes, sir. And none may say, What is this? Wherefore is this? Is that? For at time convenient, they shall all be sought out. At his commandment, the water stood as a heap, and at the words of his mouth, the receptacles of water. Yes, sir. At his commandments is done. At his commandment is done whatsoever he pleaseth him. Uh huh. And no one can hinder when he shall say. Yeah. The works of all flesh are before him, and nothing can be hid from his eyes. You can't hide from them, nobody. I don't care what doctrine you preach. Right. Because you don't believe in the devil, don't make it not true. Right. Let's get some up. He seeth from everlasting to everlasting. Uh oh. And there is nothing wonderful before him. A man need not to say, What is this? Wherefore is that? For he hath made full things for their uses. All things. You got All things for their uses. Okay. His blessings covered the dry land as a river uh -huh. and watered it as a flood. As he hath turned the waters into saltness, so shall the heathen inherit his wrath. Yeah. As his ways are plain unto the holy. How is his ways plain unto the holy? See, the law is plain. Mm -hmm. It's not for you to have to struggle through and figure out God right. and be in fear of him that way like you scared. I don't know. I may do something to upset him. Mm -hmm. No, his ways are plain. So you don't need no magnifying glass. You don't need no magnifying glass. If you do this, this is what I'm going to do to you. If you do do that, do this and you get back in good grace with me. It's plain as day. There's nothing rocket science about what he tells right. you to do. To correct yourself. 
nothing. Let's get some up. Unless they got a we might well finish mind. that on our lives yeah, and we're going to yeah, finish so it. Go in. Yeah. So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked? Yeah. For the good are good things created from the beginning. So evil things for sinners. Yeah. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water. No, it ain't uh -oh. unless you eat it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't drink that water. You know your neck ain't made to lap up water. <laughs> you got to stretch forth your neck. And you got to stand on all fours. Uh, <laughs> what else is for? You got to the principal things again. <laughs> like The principal yeah, things yeah. for the whole use of a man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, uh -huh. flour of wheat, yeah. honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, uh -huh. and oil, blood and clothing, and all in clothing. All these things are for good to the godly. Mm. So to the sinners, they are turned into evil. They're turned into evil. These things mm. are turned into the evil. The wicked tells you, don't drink, drink the water. water. Don't drink the water. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes so much sense. Don't it make sense, sir? Yes, it yes sir. Does. That I'm light bulb is on, blaring at 3,000 aluminum things. But, but you <laughs> see that, like the scripture says, it's a stumbling block to the wicked. Yeah. Right. The scriptures will always be a stumbling block for, to the wicked. The Just like 3 Peter yeah. says about those who don't understand the writings of Paul. Yeah. They struggle with everything they to their own destruction. Yes, sir. Right. They create these things mm -hmm. because they don't want, they love the lust of the world. Mm -hmm. Right. They don't want you to inherit righteousness. Yeah. So misery loves come. Yeah. So yeah. they're yeah. going to teach a doctrine of don't Wait. drink the water. And, and, and look, don't do not do as, as I do, do as I say. Yeah. Right. Look, you don't need a cup or a bowl. You may need a Rolex like I got on. <laughs> You may need jewelry like I got on ring, but I wasn't heard. born with these either, though. But I don't know how to tell time by the sun. <laughs> See how I can't get to so I uh, still got to get this. You messing with me? No, okay, Lice. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, me too, Lice. Yeah, you you yeah, 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 but but y'all understand what we're saying when somebody say something to you like that that don't really matter, life, because you were not born doing these certain things well you weren't born with jewelry on right but you got it on yes, mm -hmm. so you don't understand what i'm saying it's time fully where people want to believe that lie because they want that watch they want that ring and whatever it takes to get it i'll do what you say well the first thing you got to turn your back on god i don't care i do that let's read some more finish that on off like We're going to finish this out, y'all. We're going to close on up. <clears throat> well, yeah, life. Uh, 28. 28. 28. 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, uh -huh. which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force yeah. and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yes, sir. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. What were they created for? Vengeance. Uh huh. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. What is it punishing them to? Destruction. Yes, sir. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. Uh huh. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. They ain't gonna transgress his word, not his powers. He'll send a bear at you. Like he did Elijah on them little children, and they were teenagers last night. Go up the hall here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Grizzly, handle that business, please. Yeah, they did. Go ahead. What else to say? Therefore, from the beginning, I was resolved and thought upon these things, and have left them in writing. Uh huh. All the works of the Most High are good. Oh, uh, what? Good. good. Uh huh. Excellent. And he will give every needful thing to in due season. Every needful thing, not every wanted thing. He right. gives you your needs, right. not your wants. You want things that are not good for you. Right. He gives you things that you need. Water and fire and clothing. Mm -hmm. Water to, to drink and sustain life. Water to wash your rear end and your clothes. Mm -hmm. And fire. To cook your meat. That's blood right. of the grape. And, and boy, look, blood of the grape. Yes, sir. So and, you can have the water. Water. and so you can mm -hmm. heat the water. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Quick plan. Let's get some more. Finish that off. Three verses. So 
so that uh, yeah, so that a man cannot say, verse thirty-four. Yeah. So that a man cannot say, this is worse than that. For in time they shall all be well approved, and therefore praise ye the Most High with the whole heart. With the what kind mouth, of heart? Whole heart. Uh huh. And mouth. Uh huh. And bless the name of the Most High. Yo, that's our instructions. Right. Yeah. You cannot be double-minded and expect for that to happen to you. You're warring against the flesh and the spirit. The flesh gonna always lead to destruction because it's dying. Right. It's just like what what you gonna do to a man on death row in jail? You better not steal. Let they gonna punish you. How much more? Come right. <laughs> <laughs> on, way out checking out. So why does the devil care about anybody? Y'all right, right. let me just say this real quick before we close out. Y'all want to thank everybody and uh, all the worldwide audience for y'all uh, contributions and donations to the Feast of Pearl. Uh, sister was able to order everything needed. Y'all so we're in good shape and we greatly appreciate what y'all did and uh, helping out and y'all for us looking out for the poor. Yes, sir. You know, that's in need of certain things, y'all. We we need to do it more, but we have a feast day to make sure we don't go the year without doing it. Y'all understand what I'm saying? That's right. Because we have to do it year by year. We have to make sure if you don't do it the other months, you have to do it this time. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then pick up the pace. Yes, also, y'all, the Passover has been set. The day is Monday, April the 22nd at, at evening. So on a Monday, the address is there, the Heritage House, so uh, sister will be sending out the invite. Uh, right now, it'll go, uh, it was once a week, but it'll go to twice a week, y'all, and this is what we have to understand, y'all. We have to get up here and get it together and quit playing this game. Give us your name. There's information on there to say, just put me on the list, I'll catch up. When I can before the deadline, I just need to be put on the list. Do us a favor. We got people coming from out of town. We got to prepare for over a couple hundred people. You cannot do that on the same day. If you expect to come out of town and we starting all this on the same day, you trying to hold us no, and then you want to pay when you get here. What are we gonna do then? Go to the store before the Passover start and try to get everything get it seasoned up. No. So y'all like understand, we're asking Earth. you to, to just let us know we have a list. Put me on the list. I got you, when, and, and, and I'm going to do it at this time because there's going to be a cutoff time. And if you get cut off, don't be banging on them doors <laughs> because we ain't said you have to pay now. We said get your name put on the list. So we know you come, and that gives us the fair advantage of knowing what to purchase. Right, and how so much. So we don't run out at the Passover. You know what I'm Man, saying? We have to know how much to purchase ahead of time. We have to get location. We have to ensure security is there. We have to make sure everything is set so it goes smooth. There's that the Passover is no burden. Right. When you think about it, man, that was good. It's a, Boy, it's that a felt like Josiah when he... When he put the Passovers back in order. Right. You understand what I'm yeah. saying, Lysa, that you've talked about it for a while. What you got said? You said the Heritage House. Don't say that. I, I mean the, the Polish Heritage House. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. so I left off Polish. I'm sorry. The Polish Heritage House. But it'll be in, in the all the Heritage House is gone, though. Dayton Time. Yeah, they can close it. The Dayton yeah, Time, all of that will be in the info so you won't be misunderstood. Now, Jake has the 21st on the calendar because we get it out there early. But we know the moon cycle changes and different things, so that'll be corrected. Technically, it's only 12 hours off, so to speak. But everything is forecasted, y'all. We're trying to look down and pinpoint this because there's no way it's impossible to do it the same exact day or to be in a position to do it the same day like that unless we got racks of food and got everything we need there. And we still got to have a certain amount of time to prep for the number of people. Mm -hmm. Cannot have 50, 100 people show up out the blue. Right. You can't go nowhere else like that, can you? Mm. So y'all, we make it comfortable, but just let us know. We got to get prepped. We got to look for, for hotels for people coming in town, telling them where to stay in the best place. 
All that have to be regulated, you know, have to be looked over, have to be thought out. Yeah. So that you may enjoy and everybody enjoy, y'all. Is that hard? Nope. So with that, y'all, we're going to close out. We got any questions or concerns? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All praise. All praise. Let's close out, y'all. Let's get this prayer on. All right, family. We're going to get this closing prayer. And it's with the most highest permission. Yes, sir. yes, sir. And it's in the name of his only begotten and beloved son, our Lord and Savior and our Redeemer, Yahushua Hamashiach. And we know that Jesus the Christ, family, long live the King. Long live the King. Reading in the book of Psalms. Read in the 92nd chapter, yes, it reads, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Most High, yes, and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, yes, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning, yes. and thy faithfulness every night, mm -hmm. upon an instrument of ten strings, yes. and upon the psaltery, yes, upon the harp with a solemn sound, for thou, Yahweh, yes. has made me glad through thy work. Yes. I will triumph in the works of thy hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. O Master, yes, sir. how great are thy works, yes, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth the fool understand this. Yes, sir. When the wicked spring is the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. Yes, sir. Be thou, Yahweh, art most high forevermore. Yes. For lo, thine enemies, O Yahweh, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. Yes, sir. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Yes. Mine eye also shall see my desire on my enemies, and mine ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. Yes, sir. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Yes, sir. Those that be planted in the house of the Most High shall flourish in the courts of our Elohim. Yes. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. Mm. They shall be fat and flourishing yes. to show that the Most High is upright. Yes. He is my rock. Yes, sir. And there is no unrighteousness okay. in him. Hallelujah! Say Y'all got a shuffle or two. We greatly appreciate it. Yes, sir. Like a unicorn.